To get your copy, tune in this Friday at 10 a.m. I'm very excited. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. life. Quite like bugs. Do you? I quite like a bug. I like a ladybird bug. They're my favourite. Hello. I hope I'm not bugging you. That would be very nice. Sure not you lot. This lot are lovely. You not so much. Um, hello. Happy Thursday. It's nearly the weekend isn't it? Yay! It's nearly the weekend. Um, how are we? Are we good? Apparently, Ke uh, Becky. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Becky, apparently. I'll keep calling her a sister's name today. Um, yes, it's the late show now this evening. Do you know, speaking of bugs and things, I've got something on the late show this evening I ain't never seen. I've heard all about it. I've heard guest designers talk about it when we're talking about pearl knotting and conditioning threads. I had the Nemo thread on the show last night. I've never seen it. We actually have, on the Bugs Life Day, 61 chances of the beeswax. 
Yeah, it's the actual beeswax in a little uh, little pot with a little lid, and it's so easy, no mess, no messing about. Just condition your threads. I've got some lovely silks on the show this evening as well. I've even got the pearl knotting tool. I've got a sneaky pearl kit with some sterling silver and some sterling silver collots in there, and um, the pearl knotting last 104 copies of pearls. Fan uh, pearls fleurs. She gets that all the time. Fleurs, fantastic pearl knotting DVD. So if you want to learn how to pearl knot, I've got the pearl knotting tool. I've got the beeswax, only limited numbers mind, I've got the pearl knotting tool uh, DVD and it's all ready to go and the silks and of course some pearls as well. We've also got in this show tonight, um, my producer Becky, that's Becky, sorry Becky, I've been calling the carry all evening, um, has put together some very naughty deals on seed beads, bugle beads, all sorts of last of stock availability at naughty price points. I've also got zircon, I've got the most amazing tanzanite, I've got black pearls, I've got lemon quartz, I've got amethyst, I've got peridot, I've got gemstones, I've got the most beautiful, what I class as an old fashioned jewellery maker kit, which includes 30, uh, 40 metres of wire, sky blue appetite, peacock keshi pearls, now the whole kit in my opinion, is the price that the Keshi Pearl should be in the Peacock. And I've got some uh, fluorite in there. So three lovely strands of, of gemstones. Great to see Keshi Pearls in a kit and 40 metres of bare copper wire. Perfect Amundo dude. That's what the Ninja Turtles used to say. Um, anyway, not that they're technically a bug, but you know what I mean. I also have a very good friend of mine, guest designering this evening, the Spider-tastic, because she will entice you into her web. Gem Hawks! Ooh. Ooh. How are you, Jeff? I'm cracking back. Beautiful you lady. How are you? I'm alright, thank you. A you... little bit too much of the old garden in there, lovely. God, yes. Mm. My legs. I'm, I'm shot. I'm shot, honestly, <laughs> from gardening. The, you want to see? I'm walking like John Wayne <laughs> when he's been on his horse. It's pain. Um, anyway, I'm hoping it'll ease up over the weekend. Um, so, yeah, we've got a lovely, lovely cracking show. The, uh, the big boss, Andrew, came down earlier and said, how's your show looking? I went, amazing. Really amazing. So, I'm really excited. We've also got an under £10 deal coming up as our today's must-have. And um, I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. So, if you want to learn how to pearl knot, um, I'll give you the DVD, the tool, the silks and the beeswax and the pearls in this hour for you. All right, so if you've got any questions, do text in. On 60777, start your text with JM Studio and drop us a line and ask us a question. Dan is hovering. Dan, would you like to pass me something? Yes, Just chuck it in, darling. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. No. Do you know what that's called, Dan? No. It's called Cotastic. Okay. It's a Cotastic tool. There's tools inside there, Dan. No, mm, Dan doesn't know about the Cotastic tool. Uh, I've got all that coming up as well. He was, I felt he was hovering. He was hovering like a moth, <laughs> weren't you? Giggle chops. He was giggling at me on air last night, Leah. Was it? Yeah, I was working on doing my thing, and he went, <laughs> "What are you? Why are you laughing?" It went, oh, "Nothing." <laughs> anyway, get ready for a Boston late show. Boston. What should we start with? The pearl wire. It's going to be an arm and a goal, because quite frankly, that means we ain't got many. <laughs> unfortunately. How many? 24. Ooh, it's a right strong one as well. Look, look at the gauge. 1.5 mil, get in. Love, love. Gem is in love. And Gem, I happen to know, is a tad partial to the pearl coloured wire. Totally. Totes, totes in love. It is now equal to my love for antique bronze. No. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, that is a big talk oh, I know. because Gem Hawks is a bit of a fan of antique bronze, a little bit like Laura Binding is with the copper wire. And the pearl coloured wire is beautiful. I have seen my guest designer's eyes light up with this. It's got a different feel to it when you're working with it, hasn't it? It has its silky, satiny, silky. it's beautiful. Yeah. Terribly posh. It, it does have an element of uh, yeah. hmm, <laughs> about it. It's like when you go from having. I bet all the youngsters here will be like, what are you talking about? It's like when you go from a synthetic bed sheet to a six to one thousand thread count sheet. Oh, yeah. Are we talking Egyptian cotton? Egyptian cotton, one thousand mm. thread count. Ding dong, when that's on your skin. You don't mm. want to get out of bed, there's no, do you? There's no going back. <laughs> there is no going back. 
Um, 10 metres of pearl coloured copper wire underneath. And that's why we only have, uh, well, we did have 24 left. We've now got 19. £6.95. That's a, that's a very generous 10 metres of 1.5. Because sometimes when we go to the one mil structural wire, we actually go to a 3 metre. Because obviously the more gauge, the thicker the wire, so the less meterage. Not on this a whole so you could do a lovely chalk necklace a lovely structural piece you could do the surround to a forest uh, for oh, me a um tree of life couldn't you, you? Could. it'd be beautiful and you could alternate it with a raw copper as well a bare copper wire which looks exceptional together with it yes but gem what's the point in mentioning bare copper darling unless we've got some on the show it's just not helpful gem or do we have some bare copper wire in your first kit, Gem? <laughs> it might be a thing. It might be a thing. And it would go really well. But it goes with all of your wire colours. It does. But if you have that as the surround, and then you make your tree with the bare copper. Yeah. Oh, um, my goodness me. Yes. Really nice. <laughs> do you know what I had a real yearning for looking at you then? And I don't know why. I don't know why. Do you know what I had a This is weird. Weird. I looked at you then and thought, I want to go on a canal barge. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> Say that again. I looked at you then. It's, do you know what went straight in the head? I want to go on a canal barge. What, because I look like a barge? I don't know where it can... No, I don't look like a barge. I'm just saying, for some reason, I looked at you and then thought, I want to go on a canal barge. Very weird. It's like, I bought her a bag of blueberries in today. Oh. Posh blueberries. Mm. And it's gone out of my head until, she, until the second. I put it in my lunch bag and I put it with a little ice pack. And I bought it in for us. So they stayed nice and chilled. And then it wasn't until the second I saw her lovely face and I went, oh! Blueberries. And that's connection. Tonight, blueberries and canal barge. They're about to sell out. Six pounds ninety-five. Now, yesterday, the lovely Katie Parker guest designer did a lovely demo and she was doing a um a bale out of the wire that she'd plaited. Um, but she did we didn't have any bale making pliers on. Uh, oh, can I just mention um, if you do want those collectors in uh, this is people with it in the baskets, that wire. Is this is the two left? Becky, love. Is there two left? So, sorry, Collection County, Antrim, Patricia, Tina, Zoe, Beverly, Collection, the list goes on. There's two left of the wire, all right? Oh, I thought we had the bale making pliers. I don't know where I've got them from. I, there's me talking about bale making pliers. I haven't got any. What a weirdo. Sorry. Um, very odd. What I have, do have, though, is... Now, these are long-handled... Cutters. So, well, I say long handled. They are actually, as it says in the graphics, extra long. So, if you like, we do a whole range of extra long handled. Um, and again, even if you've got, no, I've got quite small hands, full enough to match my small head and my small ear canals. Those are the only small things about me, but there you go. But actually, I find long handled pliers more comfy than the shorter handled. I don't know why. Extra leverage. Is that what it is? I think so. Extra leverage. I just find I can control them better. Are oh, they just suited for you, my darling? Yeah. It's weird, though, because I've got quite small hands. You know, but anyway. So, side cutter. So, when would, you, when would you opt for a side cutter? When you're trimming your wires down and you want to get a really nice, smooth finish on the one side, you get quite close in with a side cutter. So, that's what they're for? That's what I use them for. Funny enough to cut from the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. I asked for that, really, didn't I? But yeah, these are fun. and then what I love about these is, th despite that long handle, they're really lightweight, but still sturdy. Does that make sense? Right. I'm going to ask everybody. Think about inflation. Think about the cost of living. Think about your daily routine. Think about what happens when you've got a fiver in your purse or wallet or pocket or whatever. You don't ever look at th three, four pounds in your. I don't know, your car, your wallet, your purse, your back pocket and think, oh, that's going to last me a fair while, do you? You feel, you feel like you're broke, don't you? How, how, how do we make a pair of pliers with extra long handles, so there's extra materials in those, designed to cut wire for jewellery making Expect to make any money and then offer it to you, our lovely audience, at £3.95p. I'm not sure because when I go to those kind of stores where you buy little electronic goodies, yep. 
or the do-it-yourself store. Yep. I would struggle to find a pair of cutters with that kind of box joint yeah. for under a fiver. I really would. Well, that might explain why some of them are going under, mightn't it? Because they're not the same sort of quality. No. So to have that beautiful box joint yep. that holds it all this together, one here. to have the return spring yep. in there to ease fatigue on your hands. Exactly. And to have the extra leverage if you need it. And a co comfort and anti-slip uh, anti grip there as well. Beautiful. Everything you yep. need. Trip pounds 95. Last in stock. Don't say that, because that always makes me sad. Especially something so fabulous. 13. Now then. Woo, woo, woo. Makes you want to put them on and do a belly dance. Or is that just me? <laughs> you don't want me to get my belly out. It's not that kind of a programme. Now these are 5 160 carats of beautiful, wonderful amethyst. Oh, yeah. And if you just pop those with that 1.5 mil pearl, pearl coloured wire that we've just had, goodness me, they'd look fan fabulous. I've also got a, a, a lovely amethyst rondel uh, star by coming up for you in 15 minutes as well. Wonderful player cruism. You're seeing some dog tooth amethyst chevrons in there as well. You're getting lavenders. You're getting fantastic carrot weight. You know those central um, bars there in the mid middle of the strand? Do you know how long they go up to? 53 mil. That's a very sizable piece and of half, amethyst. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Now those are the, the lovely thing about this strand is you could use it all in one go and have a very breathtaking statement piece of jewellery. But also you can also make this also also you can also 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 you can turn this into lots and lots and lots of different pieces of jewellery. So this can go a long way. I don't have the time to count all of those, but if I hold those out again, in fact, if I show them on the neckline, just give you an idea. Whoops, a daisy. Now look at that. At £8.95, you would be forgiven to turning that into one statement, amazing tribal style piece, wouldn't you? I would love to do that, yeah. That with your top that you got on today, Jen, would be perfect, wouldn't it? I think so, and I would add some swirly, curly bare copper wire to go with it. I think bare copper interacts really totally well with agree. purple. And we've got bare copper wire coming up in the first kit in the seven o'clock hour with three different gauges. Oh, yes, we do. So big, big carrot weight. Quite frankly, a clearance price of $8.95. Is that fair to say, Becky? Yeah, massive clearance price. How, again, how we quite managed to get that much carrot weight of genuine, and again, we have the or, or certificate of authenticity. £8.95, fantastic value for money, isn't it? I mean, you can go into, I mean, I went to meet a friend for lunch today. I mean, the desserts were six ninety five for a little piece of apple pie. Six ninety five. Do you really said you want some ice cream with it? I went, yeah, please. And six pound ninety five. Like to feed it me for that, and all of you don't mind. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, now these are are these ones that they look like they're twisted. All look like Tales of the Unexpected. I love that show. <laughs> it used to be great, didn't it? All the young kids are like, what's that? Oh, again, brilliant statement piece, that. Mix that with pearls, mix that, and I've got lovely pearls to go with that, actually. Sorry about that. Look at that. Beautiful pearls I've got in that gorgeous pearl kit coming up this hour. Really pretty, and I'll tell you what, I've also got, oh goodness, I've got so much to go with these today. Starbot, uh, look at this, citrine. Oh, gem, look at those brand new citrines with those. Those have got a real glow to them. Haven't they? Now, can you see, these have got the most unusual, they are ovals, massive ovals of tiger's eye, but then actually, they've got like a twist to them. So, they're... They're sort of swirls. Can you see that they've got, if I hold those, I want you to see the undulation of them, if, I, if you can. They, I suppose they could remind you of a very, oh, a very well-known branded or waffer thin crisp that rhymes with tingle. <laughs> that made you giggle for. Um, now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm talking about, what, 50p each, roughly? 
about 50p each for those and they are magnificent put them with pearls put them with the uh, oh i've got gorgeous zircon coming up i've got black pearls coming up in fact i'm going to show you the blackpool blackpool black pearl even who's off to blackpool i've not been to blackpool for years oh it's been a while since i've been to blackpool i went to a friend's wedding a few years ago i have to say i stayed in the worst hotel i've ever been in my life <laughs> ever <laughs> They still had a smoking floor. <laughs> I didn't think that was legal anymore. They still had a floor where you could go. I went in and the smell of smoke in the hotel room. <laughs> Sorry. So I was telling my lovely story. Then all I heard in my ear was, you've got any other this nuggets? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, but I didn't think that was legal. So the pearls, by the way, are going to be your star by about quarter to eight. All right, my lovelies, about quarter to eight. These are fabulous. Now, I've not seen these before. They're magnificent. I'm going to pop them on my neckline again. Can I just say as well, for anybody think, thinking I went home with the um, snake chain last night, I didn't. I did give it back. I only gave it back because I went into the production room and Emma grasped me up and went, oh, you still got the snake chain on, Zena. I went, oh, darn it. I better give it back then. So I would like to say that I did give it back. Didn't I, Dan? Yeah. There, yeah, there you go. He's just backed me up a pay. I'll give you the cash later, love. 420. These are big carrot weights, aren't they? Doesn't that look fab on my neckline, even though I do say so myself? It really does. And fab it, to me. Always. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fab with the bling, but it would work equally as well with a plain, plain. top. Oh, I should think it looked nicer with plain. Well, I think it's got the, the capacity for it to work with like a nice uh, velvet camisole or something. Because you get an do almost you velvety a velvet camisole. I possess I bet you do. an original velvet camisole that I've had since 1991. Wow. <laughs> wow. 7 <laughs> Are you put are you are you putting the um things through to the studio or Are you are? Well, I'm not getting anything. It's alright, I've got a screen and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's just look it, it's just just says specification blank. Oh. It's a bit like my... It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, I think that's what it... I think if I had a blueprint for me, it would say specification blank. <laughs> I think mine would say add coffee. <laughs> yeah. Add coffee. Oh. Drink the coffee, do yeah. the things, yeah. you know. I think mine would just be fault, error. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be one of those weird error codes that nobody ever knows what means? Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, that's a nice long strand. Oh, it is. 37, but it's longer than that. Now, I'm thinking, with those lovely amethyst bars we just had, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or the amethyst star bar that we've got coming up in about seven minutes as well. That'd look lovely. Intersperse the two. Mix it up or have a double strand because doesn't that look great just having a single strand of, of rondelles and then those those drop style nuggets They're really funky in shape really really are um, and I've got to show this because Coming up Now we've just found these little treats added to the show last minute for you Whopping great I knew these would have your name on it Jen Jen's just fallen in love with those Massive lemon quartz, as in a limoncello quartz. Now that's not something that you see every day, is it? And what a beautiful colour contrast Isn't it, between those two. Oh my word! I think when can we do these? Because these are beautiful, and they're just being added. And I thought, shall we do them at the end of this hour? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah. Those are magnificent. Woo! Now, the amethyst, I've unfortunately down to my last 27 chances for the whole... <laughs> there are certain price points when you see a strand like that that you know, quite frankly, it will sell out because jewellery makers can't... We can't resist a deal like that, can we? I definitely can't. I can't. Definitely. I'm going to say... Are you definitely putting the name? Oh, well, I think the names are about to come through, hopefully. 170 carats of amethyst in, that, in, the, in those nuggets. Really cool shapes. Beautiful shapes, actually. Real, um, you can tell the strand's absolutely natural. Zambian, obviously. And at £3.95, I know that makes us all think oh, they can't be real for that. Well, they are. They are. They're absolutely real. Genuine. And we have the authenticity card to prove it as well. 
First person to check out, our lovely friend Hertrude, who I met at the, um, that I met at the garden party last year, at Jewelry Maker in July, has bought three. And I think, doesn't that add up to about £11.85, Hertrude? Hertrude, straight in on the telephone. Now, if you want to buy from Jewelry Maker, very easy. Call the call centre at on 0800 644 655. Press option one, straight through to our UK-based call centre. They're all accredited jewellery professionals. And uh, you can also check out online if you fancy doing that yourself, jewellerymaker.com, or we do have a free of charge jewellery maker app as well. I downloaded a plant app today. They're good. Go to a plant that you know that you see that you like. That might be in somebody's garden. You just take a photograph and then it tells you what plant it is. It's really good. That's really cool. That's good, that is. I'm impressed. Because my neighbour's got a plant and I love it and I want it and I want to plant it in the garden. She doesn't know what it's called, so I just went, oh, I know. Down there, I went straight around the garden, did that, and she went, oh. And you know what the, the plant is? It's great. Amazing. It is. I need to know what the plant is now. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's honestly, it's most, and it's a free app. It's brilliant. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Because there's bugs. Bugs land on plants, don't they? There is a link. There, is a, there was a tenuous link. <laughs> Grant you, it was tenuous. Um, all right. Ooh, microfaceted white topaz. These are all last of stock. This means if you want them, everybody's been, they've been really popular. Everybody is, quite frankly, refusing to use their 30-day money-back guarantee. Just saying, well, thank you very much, Jewelry Baker, but don't need it. Do you know why? I've got a perfect record on Jewelry Maker. I've never sent anything back. In three years. That's never. amazing. Never sent anything back. Never wanted to send anything back. Sometimes I don't cut the strand and I just keep it and look at it. Yeah. But I can't think that I've sent... No, nope. I've never. <laughs> Completely unblemished record. Obviously, it is mildly awkward as well when you work here. Because it's a bit awkward if you work here, then you go, Ooh, I don't like that, I want to send it back. It makes me... So actually, but I've never wanted to. Thank goodness. But uh, anyway... 12 carats of microfaceted white topaz. We know, don't we, that that, whether you want to use as a spacer to add that glacial sparkle, that glitter, and you don't fancy perhaps using a Swarovski, or you, uh, you just love genuine gemstones, and you want to add that beautiful sparkle, that ding, you know, that lovely ding at the end of the microwave when it goes off, and you get that little ding at the end. Um, you get that. You don't get your dinner cooked. But, you know, you do get that little ping. It's a zing, actually, isn't it, I think, rather than a ping. Do you think? Yeah, Am definitely. I going off on a tangent a bit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just trying to focus on, on, on the price coming in, and then we were talking microwaves. That's incredible. Do you have a blackboard I could borrow, please, Dan? He's nicked them all. I've noticed this with Dan. He's so good at setting things up for me. He's a bit of a hoarder with the boards. A border hoarder. A, ho a border hoarder. <laughs> a border hoarder. Thank you, darling. Give it to me now, Leah. Thank you. Because no putting me putting against a white background. You want to see it sparkle against the black background, don't you? Here we go. Sparkling, teeny tiny, two mil. So that also, if you work with, if you like uh, our guest designers and our seed bead designs but you're just a gemstone addict you're thinking well I'd much rather make it with gemstones that is a, 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 that would be a perfect what would that be about an 11 mil gemstone 11 mil seed bead roughly two would be you'd get 12 to the inch give or take a little bit so, be, so it's like yeah. an 11 0 or a 12 like 11 0 one of yeah. those like 11 yeah. <laughs> yeah. 9.95 as well for microfaceted that is fantastic they're absolutely stunning. And sometimes you want to use some, not a white quartz, you want to use something with perhaps a, a slightly different activity to it. So a white topaz for me is just beautiful in your bridal jewellery. Bridal, definitely. Mm. Tiara twist sparkle in hair combs and tiara bands. Sorry, is that again, sweetie? Oh, shall we give you, shall we give you, my lovelies, a fantastic, fabulously, brilliantly priced star bite.
Right then, put you some lovely amethyst already, but this is something else. This is um, really, you know, like if you've got all the purple in the world and you poured it into a great big funnel and then you got a massive, and you poured it into the funnel like that and then it just went down the funnel and it went into the Zambian amethyst and it just overflowed and overflowed over the floor to the point where you couldn't get any more purple in. That's what I think has happened to this strand. We've overdosed on genuine purple. And that's the result, look. <whistles> oh, I like those a lot. Oh, I know, they are. Do you know what they are? They're like the best favourite box of chocolates and you can't put the lid back on. <laughs> You've got to have more and more and more. I mean, they are just, and they are brand new as um, a little sneaky little taglines just zoomed in. Brand new! That means we've never had, nobody's ever been able to get those before you. That's a nice feeling as well, isn't it? Oh, it is. You're the first one to get your hands on those. That's quite special. I do feel like that when I know I've bought some, you know, sort of, I'm one of the first people to get my hands on something. I know what you mean. It's totally exciting. Agree. Yeah. yeah, it really is. And uh, we've got here fabulously formed, beautiful. And do you know what I like about amethyst? Amethyst is formed in a geode, so it's, a, it, it's formed in a very gentle way. And I think it's a little bit like, you know when you see our guest designers and they've obviously really enjoyed working with the kit and it shows in the jewellery. Mm -hmm. It's massively evident. I think that natural formation and that gentle creation of, of amethyst is, is shown in the, in the gemstone itself. It seems to be very calming, like um, almost like jadeite. Yes, and it looks so good with jadeite tones, oh, with your peridots as well, yeah. with that microfaceted topaz we were lucky enough to see. I see, that's just dreamy. That is a heavenly combination. I feel that that's a sporty thing. Come on, anybody want a message in? What theme tune that was for? Is that what my mum's doing at the moment? Nope. Oh. That's the did 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 other music playing units are available. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, uh, or just, yeah, I have to, well, I've, you know, I live on my own now, so I, just, just to make sure that I have somebody to talk to, I bought a, 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 an Alexa. Well, I didn't actually, my dad did. Kind of him. So, beautiful amethyst, Zambian, natural, brand new, what's there not to love? So what you're saying basically is this is nature's bliss. You were describing earlier yeah. about how that kind of made you feel. Yeah. It's nature's bliss then, isn't yeah. it? Just, it's a very blissful gemstone. I just think for such a sharply coloured, richly coloured, deep saturated purple, on the contrast, it's very relaxing. I know what you're saying because it is kind of a, a spark of colour. Oh, I love it. But it does take you to a peaceful kind of zen place. I think place. so. That to me is like doing yoga, but without having to stretch. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? I just, that's what I think. Yoga, Pilates, and oh, it's, uh, I've got a yoga mat on the back of my car seat. A yoga mat and a yoga bag. It's been there for a year. <laughs> I've not used it yet. <laughs> Pardon? Was it in my car? Don't know where else to put it. I got bought it. <laughs> Thinks we're trying to tell me to exercise. <laughs> Here's a yoga mat. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I do have some sterling silver wire. Yes, thank you. Would you like me to show it to everybody? Okay. Sterling silver wire. It's a bit posh. Oh, so I'm knocking everything over tonight. Final. Did anybody get the theme tune? That's not match of the day. Pardon? Not ski Sunday. Is it horsey things? No, purple and green, come on. There was the clue was in the gemstone. Oh, 
table tennis? We all badminton? <laughs> tennis! Wimbledon! Okay. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I bother. I don't. <laughs> It's like, no, no, we don't either, love. Right then, do you fancy five, six, seven, eight metres of sterling silver wire? Because we have got um, five metres in the 0 0.4, one metre in 0 0.6, one metre in 0 0.8, and one metre in one mil. Ooh! Now, as you can see, with ten left, we made quite a few of these, and this, this is the last nine chances now, because this has been very, very, very popular because you've got four different gauges four different gauges of sterling silver wire and you could make those lovely sterling silver um, rose rings with these couldn't you you very easily could yes what gauge would you use for that 0 0.6 0 0.8 or 1 I would probably go for a 0 0.8 and also to try a slightly smaller design in the one mil okay That'd be nice sterling silver wire do you know, I didn't even know such a thing existed till I came to work, work at Jewelry Maker. I had no idea. I had no idea. Uh, 29.95, that's the reason everybody's going bonkers for this. We should have put the meterage in the actual... Because um, it says at the bottom, it breaks it down for you. But I can confirm that for that price point, we are talking about 8 metres of sterling silver wire, which is incredible. I mean, what's that per metre then? £3 something each? Sterling silver wire, £3.75, no, £3.67, you were nearly there, £3.67 for a metre of sterling silver wire, it's brilliant, and to get all the different gauges as well, fantastic kit put together this is, Sandra in Devon, you were the first one to check out, well done Sandra, I've been talking about Devon today, yeah, with my friend, because my, my cousin's just bought a house there. So I was asking about how to get to this certain pub that I like. Is it... Oh, I can't remember. I've written it down on my phone. I'll have a look in a minute. But um, <laughs> something mayo is the veg... Is the village... The veg. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I said mayonnaise. Uh, right then, Sue in Warwickshire. Whereabouts in Devon are you? Where are you in Devon? Hmm. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. You could say, mind it. <laughs> mind Never it. Heard of mind it. Is that near Tiverton? Mind it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Edwina, if you do want them sweet, that's nearly sold out because I only had 10 to start. Sorry, lovely girl. Edwina, don't forget. Don't forget. Oh, these are lovely. Are they feisty? Do you need help? It was... I do need help. It's been, dis it's been discussed by many a, many a GP. Would you like me to hop off and have a look for them, no, Do you know what? I could hop off on my port... Oh, hang on. Leah's going. Can you reach it, Leah? Well, thank you for getting my beeswax. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's my beeswax. That's beeswax. That's what, you wanted. That's what I wanted, my beeswax, yes. <laughs> thank you. It, the reason I'm not getting off the chair, it's not because I'm being lady rock, it's because I'm in pain. I've hurt my back and my legs from gardening. No, I have really. <laughs> I don't think more exciting than that. <laughs> Scarifying me lawn, as you do. So, beautiful big pear drops. Don't forget, I do have that fantastic um, strand of ovals coming up as well. Yeah, so you could have that lovely variation. I love the fact that we've got a lighter yellow and a more rich golden yellow uh, in this strand as well. It's fantastic, goes lovely with the amethyst. Great big ovals of real, it's like opening a jar of really expensive honey, getting a teaspoon, sticking it right into the centre of that honey and then just letting it drizzle over whatever you fancy it on. Oh, whopping great big 16 by 10 mil pear drops of citrine. Goodness gracious me, they are very sizeable indeed. Now 29.95 is where we should be. They would, look ma they would look fantastic with the tiger's eye that we had. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is go gorgeous. Gorgeous, Craig Rubber Horwood. Oh, a third off. How do you fancy that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Who's going to say no to genuine gemstones? Genuine. Gemstone of happiness there. Do you know 
what? Speaking of happiness, there was a song. What didn't didn't Ken Dodd re, um, record happiness? That was his theme tune, I think. I'm sure, it was. Yeah. I listened to a documentary on the way home for the Late Show last night about Ken Dodd. He had got the most beautiful singing voice. Do you know? I was just thinking the exact oh, same thing. Hadn't he, he? He has got a beautiful. If you look at some footage Oof. from the 1960s of him singing, not comedy, but regular yeah. music, beautiful voice. Yeah. I mean, he was in the charts. He beat the Beatles to position three, two, or one on one of his songs, and absolutely, I couldn't get my breath. I actually sat on the actually sat on the drive listening to this uh, documentary and didn't go in the house until I got freezing cold last night. Just listening to Ken Dodd sing. Fantastic. So, um, I'm going to hold those out just to show you the sheer size of those, if I may. They're all going to be listening to Ken Dodd singing in the gallery in a minute in the break. <laughs> oh, ooh, really lovely. Look at that. I'm willing to bet that for most of us, especially myself, they would be the largest citrine I possess. I don't think I've actually come across larger myself. I haven't. I definitely haven't. They are beautiful. I'm, I'm thinking fabulous. They'd make beautiful flowers, wouldn't they? Lovely yellow flowers. Buttercups. Yeah. Not seen a buttercup look like that, but yeah. They're a nice shape. <laughs> look, there's a lovely... What, what plant's that? See, if I'd got me up. If I'd got me up, I could tell you what plant that was. It's not a sunflower, is it? Is it St John's Wort or something? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> St John's Wort. <laughs> Lots of flowers are called I Wart. Know, I know, but it's W O R T. <laughs> anyway. Right then. Do you fancy these um, pearls? Because this. Oh, I'm going to have to just grab my kit because I did write this down, didn't I? Can and you reach? I can reach, thank you, sweetie. That's very kind of you. Uh, now then, this is. Worry, just me bugles. I'll, I'll get me bugles back. Don't worry, it's fine. Sorry. <laughs> Do you remember those days where everything you pick up, you drop, knock <laughs> over? That's what's <laughs> happening to me today. Everything I've touched today has gone wrong. Don't let me touch any of you lot this evening because it could be problematic. So I have got in this beautiful pearl kit. I've only got a limited number. It's brilliantly put together because I'll tell you what I've got here. I have got white freshwater cultured pearls. I've got them in 7x4 mil and I've got them in 9x5 mil. You get both of those strands and they're both, as you can see, full length strands. I mean, I've got oops a date. I see what I mean. I, I should not. Did you see that hand then as well? I shouldn't be allowed out today. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed out. I am very aware of that. I'm so sorry, everybody. I am. I've got. I am in. I'm in. What do you call it? When you keep clumsy mood. Clumsy. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what did you say, Paul? <laughs> oh, shocking. Um, could I just check the measurement of those because they're very long? I'm just going to check them. Yes, I haven't got to the third one yet. I can't do my job. In do you? Honestly, said, well, I would, but would you do yours, love? 38 centimetres. Okay, two full 38 centimetre strands. Fantastic, I thought they were. So there's 76 centimetres of pearls. And uh, they are both natural. Wonderful. Then my third strand of pearls. There they are is peach freshwater cultured pearl buttons, seven to eight mil, that's an 18 centimetre strand. So if we add up 38, 38 and 18, natural, 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 94 centimetres of pearls beautifully formed. Now the good news is I have a 16 piece sterling silver findings kit to go with this, which includes head pins, jump rings, crimps, and a pair of sterling silver shepherd hook earrings. And it also has two beautiful bolt ring clasps as well. Thank you, Leah, for tidying up my bugles. And this has also got some 925 sterling silver collots. And you might be thinking, a collot? What's a collot? Well, a collot is this here. And you get two of these, and a collot is used to finish off the end of a pearl 
or a bead necklace. If you can see there, you've got those little caps. And what happens is the two half cups are closed over the end of the thread or the wire. Um, you add a little bit of glue to reinforce the hold. And then the clasp is then attached to the ring at the end of the cups. And that is the finish to your pearl necklace in it with a collot. You may have known them as clamshells. Yeah, because that's, do you know, I described them as a clam earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever used these? A uh, very long time ago, yes. They're great for disguising a knot and for making everything look super neat and super yeah, so tidy. I think it is, especially in a pearl necklace, a collot would be very Absolutely. advisable yeah. because it's going to give you that professional finish. It certainly does. As an alternative to uh, the French wire, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can use those. It's a slightly different way of capturing your knot. It looks very, very neat and professional, very traditional. Brilliant. So if you're going for the classical look and we've got the pearl knotting, the silk, the beeswax, the pearl knotting DVD, the pearl knotting tool, these pearls are just begging to be pearl knotted as well. Two of those collots for you in sterling silver, and they are 925 stamped as well as you can see there. 16 piece sterling silver findings, pick, uh, findings pack, oh for goodness sake Zina, put yourself out to pasture today. And um, three strands of natural pearls, two in the white, one in the peach, totaling 94 centimetres of natural organic pearls. What a great, great pearl kit. That's Everything you need there. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Fantastic. Truly wonderful. I mean, every one of those pearl strands is completely natural. What a great kit with, this, with the findings in sterling silver. I mean, that's just one of the strands. And there are a client base out there who does prefer to have your natural pearl. So that's always worth sort of keeping in mind. Can I just say, whoever sent that lovely message in about the team should be showing me some respect. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. At least somebody does. <laughs> oh, do you know what? We're only, we're only teasing each other. But it would be nice to have a, an ounce of respect from the crew, I tell you. Mind you, then again, as they say, you have to earn it. So, Pearl Perfection. You're lovely, thank you. Pearl Perfection. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of pearls there. But I love the fact that every single one of those pearls... How, do you know how many hours they will go into actually stranding pearls like this? Because when you think that that is all the work of the mollusk, the oyster, the mollusk, whatever sort of um, hinged shell uh, has created these beautiful pearls, we've had to not just shape match them, but colour match them, size match them. We've got to get the, 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 the exact iridescence, if, you know, so that it all matches beautifully. The exact lustre, pearlescence. I mean, that is uh, hours and hours and hours of work per strand. And then the polish. I mean, there's a lot of work gone into those. But to get the sterling silver findings as well, and those 2925 sterling silver clots to give yourself that beautiful pearl finish, this is a, a really joyous kit at $29.95. I remember the days when I used to be able to, three years ago, bring you a single strand of genuine natural pearls like that for $29.95. I remember those days too. Yeah. And, and when we see kits like this, it's just such an eye-opener. Isn't it? It's beautiful. How far we've come. And yet, if you think the cost of inflation, the cost of living goes up and up mm -hmm. and up, and yet we've managed to sort of go, maintain the quality of the pearls but take the prices to an all-time low at $29.95 for those three strands at 94 centimetres, goodness sake, and your fur findings, and your sterling silver. That is phenomenal. Now, as I said, um, you are racing through my availability there, and I don't blame you at all. Uh, a really, really perfect pearl kit for you, and it's fantastic. Really brilliant. Well done, you. Well done to our lovely buying team as well, because that is fantastic. Really fantastic. Now then. I can't hear you, darling. Oh, sorry. The silk... Don't you go again. Come here. That's me. That's me. It's all me. Uh, right then, I have some silks, because... If you are going to knot, and when I've spoken to Fleur and our guest designers and uh, Jan Dwyer, people that uh, are known for their pearl knotting, um, I'm told that the traditional is the traditional knot to uh, the thread to use is a silk. Um, 
usually uh, Fleur would say to you, if you do use a silk, then do you, you need to condition them. And we do have 61 chances only. I, 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 I actually asked the questions. I said, I don't suppose we've got any beeswax. And we have. I've never known this have beeswax. I'm so excited. I need to get out more. I appreciate. Uh, I need to get one of these, by the way, as well. I need to get a beeswax because they're so cool. Um, but you just condition the thread with, uh, and we've got the beeswax coming up for you. Now, this is a, a, a very gentle tones. You've got a very pa a gentle pink and a gentle white. Uh, 0.1 mil. Just going to say, yeah, there's your white. And that's a very, very pale pink. Very, very, very subtle. And uh, that is actually 180 metres times two. Wozers. I know! 180 metres on each one. That's impressive. That's going to knot a lot of pearls. It's, it is not a lot. It's going to knot a lot. No, it, it's there was a, a joke there, but I completely missed it. I know what you mean. It. It's going to knot a lot it's gonna for not a lot. lot. For not a lot. There you go. Yeah. That's what you were trying to say. It's it, going to it knot a there. lot for not a lot. In Camelot. <laughs> But if you add those to the pearl kit that was a moment ago with the three strands and the findings kit, one of those pieces, and bearing in mind you wouldn't use an entire strand to create a necklace piece, yep. when you're knotting you would use less than yep. an entire strand. I've seen very baroque knotted pearls with a very simple silver clasp in my local jewellers for £130, £150. And that's a good price. Not pearls of that calibre, uh -huh. shape, and perfection, and, and certainly not with the most beautiful silks to go with yeah. them as well. So I think that's an exceptional it's, it's brilliant. buy. It really, really is brilliant. So you've got that very gentle tone uh, of the very pastel pink, almost ivory esque. Then you've got the white as well, 180 metres on each one. This is proving very, very popular at 13 95 for both reels, both silk spools there. 180 metres of the white at 0.1 mil, 180 metres of the very pale, beautiful pink uh, at 0.1 mil again, so they're the same gauge, and you can use these to knot your pearls with that fantastic pearl kit that we've just had, 94 metres of natural pearls, uh, sorry, 94 centimetres, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? 94 centimetres of natural pearls with your sterling silver findings with the calottes as well. This is wonderful. Okay. Do you know what it is? I think, I think it's, there's a couple of things. It doesn't help that I've got a blocked ear. Ah. Doctor Surgery has decided to stop ear syringing. Don't start me on budget cuts. Don't start me. Try a Hopi ear candle, see how you get on. Oh, I'll talk to you in the break about I'm having a real problem getting this ear unblocked. Somebody help me, please. <laughs> anyway, I feel, I'll tell you what, I feel, I'm going to bed soaked in olive oil every night. It's a good job I'm single. Olive oil, poured in my ear. I'm like that in bed. <laughs> anyway, now this is it, I know this, I know I need to get out more. I have never ever, in all my years on Jewelry Maker, ever been able to bring you the beads, uh, beadsmith beads, beeswax. I'm very excited. I am, very excited. This is your wonderful beeswax. And what it does, quite simply, when you get your silk thread, if you run the beeswax along the thread, it will strengthen and condition the thread. So it, re it reduces, adding the beeswax to your silk threads and any kind of your threads, it will reduce tangling and knotting. Super easy to use. 100% pure beeswax. Really easy to apply tube. All you do, pop off the cap, twist the tube. Okay, so you just twist the tube here. And it'll come out. Okay, there you go, proving the point. Run, your, run that across your stringy material or your thread or your silk that we've just had. There is no mess, there is no waste. It's really clean, super efficient, and a really, really easy way to condition your threads. Now, I had two bundles of the Nemo thread on the show last night, and I said you need to condition the Nemo thread. It, well, you don't need to, but it, um, it is, uh, works wonderfully, and it does take conditioning really well. So, again, if you got the two bundles of the Nemo threads last night, um, this is wonderful. And especially if you are knotting your pearls, first thing uh, Flo will say is do condition your silks, do get your beeswax. You can use, um, I think it's Thread Heaven, I think it's called as well, but traditionally people will opt for a beeswax. Now, I only had 
had been the, the, uh, <laughs> been the important word there, especially because a lot of you are, are, are grabbing these super, super quick indeed. Most of you going for two each. Kathy, Stephanie, gosh, Helen, Chris have had three. Carolyn Dorsey. In three years, it's the first time I've seen beeswax on Jewelry Maker. I understand we've done it before. Certainly the first time I've ever seen it. How easy is that beeswax as well in, in that applicator tube? It's so easy when you have it in. It's almost like a lip balm, isn't it? Well, it's look, I, have, I, I go with one of those when I go skiing, protect my lips, but it's not obviously beeswax. No, well, it might contain beeswax, actually. Oh, it probably, yeah. A lot of them do. Yeah. But traditionally, you would buy that in a block and you'd pass the thread through the block and yep. little, little almost like saw furrows yep. in the block and eventually it becomes unusable. Yeah. Really, really difficult so to you use. you waste so a lot of it a, like that, whereas that you do you're not. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. Those are about to sell out. Obviously. Brilliant. Can you just write the code down for me on that? I know I won't get one, but you never know. It's worth it. You can, have, you can think positively, can't you? It's like when people talk about, is your glass half full? Half full, half empty. Who cares? Refill it. <laughs> oh, well, look at it. Now then, I have a... No, I don't have a knotting awl, but I have a knotting tool. Now then, um... When I looked at this earlier on the packaging, it didn't have any information. But the good news is, if you search knotting tool um, on your search engine, you will find a copious number of amounts of uh, tutorials, visually and written, on how to use this knotting tool. And I watched it earlier without any sound, because I haven't got any sound at work, and I thought it was so easy. So quite frankly, you would knot your, you would stra uh, strand your pearls. There, there's an example of it. Oh, thank you, Paul, that's very kind of you. And you just take the, 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 end, the cap end, the protection end off. You would thread your pearl. This is so easy. You tie your overhand knot like you would with a knotting awl. That slides up and down. And you'll see this in a moment. That, that section with a little sort of a snake tongue on the end, you put your thread through. Once you've, you, you've got, you, you tie your overhand knot. Here we go, it's going to show you here if I can. I've not seen this VT, but I've just seen the, VT, the tutorial online. So you get your overhand knot, look. You pop it through the end of that tool with the little snakes. There you go, look. And then, watch this. This is so easy. Oh, I'm so knocked out with how easy this is. Watch this now, look. And it will give you a perfect seamless knot right up against the, the gemstone. You ready? Look. Pull that up to the top until it comes... It, watch. It's so easy. I'll watch this. I'm going to have to get me one of these. You put it tight. And you will knot. There you go, look. And you watch the knot. And it will slide off the end there, look, and it will push that knot right next to your gemstone or your pearl or whatever it is. It's so easy to get my breath on. It's so easy. Look at that, look. Watch. Take it off the end, look. Look at that. How easy is that? Fantastic. That's going to take the guesswork out of it, isn't it? Trying to fiddle around to yeah. get the knot to sit even. I think this is brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. I really do. Um, so... I'm going to get me one of these as well. This is the knotting tool, £4.95 for that. Now, if you think about you think about what a good, what, what a good investment of your time that is. Because my stepdad's uh, wife, um, he, she had her pearl jewellery re-knotted recently. Now, she got a really good price for it hmm. where she lives in Dorset. She had her necklace re-knotted, re, re, um, re her pearl necklace. She got charged £40, which is I think is brilliant. Cool. Yeah. Because my stepdad thought that was really expensive. I said, oh, I think you'll find that's a really, really good price. Anywhere, usually, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds of your pearl jewellery re -knotted. Easily. And if you take in vintage faux pearls, they'll still charge you the same amount. Exactly. And the thing is, um, yeah, um, and, and it's not, I know we call, call it pearl knotting, but that's to put a knot or do that tin cup spacer design and separate your, your, your gemstones with your pearl knotting because it's secure, it looks fantastic, it stretches your gemstones and pearls and makes them go a little bit further as well, so that's cost effective. And that pearl knotting tool is £4.95, I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you for the little VT there, Mr Demirs. Thank you, darling. Um, really cracking. £4.95, we've got... Can we do it quickly? Okay, now then, did this win DVD of the year? Was that the workshop? Sorry, yes. Now, this is... Oh, yeah, because this has only been launched recently, hasn't it? This is... The, this is a DVD that we've been waiting eight years for. 
And you proved that when we first launched it because it sold out in seconds or 1,000 copies and then we had to do another reorder for you. I'm down to the last 104 available. It is with our wonderful, wonderful guest designer Fleur Hastings who quite frankly I have stood next to and I have watched numerous demonstrations with, with Fleur when it comes to uh, pearl knotting and this lady is fantastic at describing and teaching and she does the um, sort of, uh, yes we've just had that knotting tool then you can use that, she prefers the um, the classical well she does it by hand basically with a simple pinpoint of a T-pin or a knotting or all um, but uh, it's a fantastic DVD. She will teach you how to use any of the tools like the knotting awl. She will teach you how to get started, how to use the uh, knotting awl, the technique, how to use it with tweezers because again you can use tweezers and how to add the finishing touches there are the tweezers there. You will find a tool whether it's the knotting tool we've just had or the knotting awl or the pearl knotting, there's a blue uh, knotting tool that we use as well. You will find that you have a preference and uh, it really is a brilliant technique to learn. And that is introducing Pearl Knotting. This has been one of our most popular DVDs to date. £4.95, that is, I don't believe that we have any, um, any, uh, any view to, to, to rerun this or do any more copies, uh, certainly. So I think once that's gone, it's gone. Excuse me? Yeah, we've got the final 104. And uh, that's your last chance saloon to get those. Hello, Margot in five. you just got those. A lot of people coming in on the telephones, uh, like Terry, David in Essex. Hello, David. And Catherine Collector, Marlene, Jeffrey, Avril, Davina, Yvonne, Josephine. I'll tell you what, this would be a great gift to buy for people who have got a knotted pearl piece of jewellery, wouldn't it? Teach them how to actually, they can learn how to re-knot. Because eventually, after the weight of your pearls, you're going to need to re-knot. Great gift. See you after the break. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free free pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs.
Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Good evening. How are we? How are you? I'm good, thanks, Dad. Are you good, thanks? Yeah, man. How are you doing? Yeah, you? man. Is that your thing tonight? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm a war man. It's not gender specific. It's just a, a, oh. a, a term yeah, of man. endearment. Yeah, man. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Kish, kish. Mwah. Just one. Oh, um, rude. Mwah. Better. <sighs> right then. I've got a block here now. No, <laughs> honestly, it's so frustrating. <laughs> now, I would suggest, when I think of a kit with Jewelry Maker, I think, ooh, it's nice to have a bit of wire. Mm -hmm. We've had the findings in the pearl kit. Great, so we've got findings, mm -hmm. tick. We've got some wire in this kit, tick. We've got a, um, the bare couple of wire, so I'm thinking you can condition, you can con a patina. You can. Hammer. Do lots with it. Texture. Brilliant. Now then, the price, and it's also got, not one, not two, but three strands of genuine gemstones at a great reduced live show price. That's what we're looking for, aren't we, as jewellery makers? The ability to make jewellery, again, that's what mm -hmm. we're all looking to do, but with a variety of gemstones that all blend and go well together with some lovely gauges of wire that we can play with as well. Absolutely. Result. Mm -hmm. Top the lot. So, I just raved about this kit actually to my lovely, uh, to our lovely uh, boss man because I said when I first started on Jewelry Maker, I remember the very day that we actually managed to get a strand of Keshi pearls under the £30 price point. Mm -hmm. And with our lovely, um, uh, our lovely Rob, uh, our producer, his beaming smile uh, when we managed to get Keshi's, I'll never forget it, him saying that, oh my goodness, we've got Keshi pearls under £30 and he was knocked out. And this whole kit, together is going under £30, including these fabulous peacock freshwater cultured Keshi pearls. They are superb and um, just glorious, glorious colours of iridescence and, and beautiful blues and greens and pinks and golds and yellows. Just lovely. So I think if you get that under £30 and you got that to sort of £29.95, £24.95 of Keshi pearls, with all that wonderful iridescence, you're doing well. Oh, most definitely. But the the colours are outstanding. They're glorious. They're glorious. They're, uh, they're, do you know what I think a, a Keshi pearl always looks as though it's alive? Mm. Like a really vibrant, live coral. And it's dancing. Yeah. It's dancing. It's not just dancing, it's doing the twist. <laughs> it's doing something very energetic, a bit, a bit of a, uh, a rock the and roll. Bada. A la bamba. Uh, we also have, thinking of the ocean, we're going to go to this exquisite Maldivian beautiful blue of the sky blue appetite in these lovely ovals. We've given it no faceting at all so it blends beautifully with the peacock pearls. And that with the peacock keshis, that there are blues in there that these draw to the surface. And they're magnificent to get sky blue appetite in a kit and keshi peacock pearls. This is one incredible kit. I've been raving about this kit all afternoon. And then we're going to throw in some extra colour. We're going to give you these delightful 4 mil faceted, add some faceted into the mix as well, uh, multicoloured fluorite, 25 carats in total. Now, don't they all go beautifully together? Tonally, they yeah. are idyllic. And I think that's my favourite way to see fluorite as well. What, in a 4 mil round? In a 4 mil faceted round Ooh. with the multi-tones. Because okay. you, you get to see a lot of fluorite in its, yeah. its form. Great, well that's lovely. Now also, uh, we have some bare copper wire. Bare copper. And what we have here is lots of bare copper wire actually. We've actually got, um, well, we're going to give you two reels of the 0.4mm to start. So you're wrapping, weaving wire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very generous to have the two. It is actually, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to give you two lots, which is 20 metres there. So 10 metres there, 10 metres there, in 0 0.4 mil. We're then also going to give you 0 0.8 mil in 10 metres and one metre 
of, uh, sorry, 10 metres of 1 mil. 10 metres of 1 mil, 10 metres of 0.8, and 20 metres of 0.4. Bare copper, and your Keshi pearls, and your sky blue appetite, and your faceted multicolour fluorite. In my opinion, for the price point that I would expect to see, I know we're jewellery maker, and we, we don't do what is expected of us, and that's why you love us. <laughs> But to give you that myriad of colour, to give you those fluorites that will fluoresce and pull out the colours of the iridescence of the peacock cashew pearls and the beautiful appetite, which um, just in and to... In and, and if you have been to the sort of flown over the uh, atolls near, in the Maldives, you'll know what I'm talking about because that blue is the colour of the Maldivian Ocean. It's incredible. What a, a, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kit. It's beautiful. Even before I took it out, we, we get the kits. They're inside their little sealed plastic bag as they always come out to yep. you. And then they're inside some bubble wrap. Yep. And then they're inside a transit bag. Yep. Open the transit bag. The colours just blew me away. Incredible. Especially with that copper. Yeah. It's they, idyllic together. They really are magical. Every single one of those. And as I said, I truly, hand on heart, believe that the entire kit, including the 40 metres of three gauges of bare copper wire, including the multi-beautiful coloured uh, formal faceted fluorite and the sky blue appetite, is what the price should be on a good day for the Keshi pearls, for the Keshi peacock pearls. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually laughable in it our favour as buyers of, of, of this kit. The it, first time I went to a gem fair many, many years ago, sort of five, six years ago now, I was looking at strands of Keshi pearls. Yeah. And the start price was £25. And if you wanted yep, something absolutely. that was that sort of level of colour and dimension, yep. it was significantly greater than that. Yep. So to see all of that together... It's phenomenal. Amazing. I've got to say, though, it's a relatively limited kit. It's a late show kit. We've only got 70... So, well, I say that. We've actually... We started with 75. Obviously got less than 70 now. Really wonderful value for money. Would you like to see... A bug-themed jewellery. Never thought I'd say that sentence. <laughs> but you have given us some beautiful dragonflies, haven't you? Yes, the uh, title of the kit there, Dragonfly Dreams. Yep. Or Dragonfly Dreaming, I think it came through to me, which I okay, thought was really lovely. lovely. Yeah. And I did a little bit of research into dragonflies, and they're quite voracious little fellas. Are they? They'll eat a bee. Do they? Could, Don't be eating our bees, dragonflies. We need bees. We need bees for our berries. Oh, we certainly do. We do. Especially blueberries. Well, you they wouldn't have had your blueberries so without your bees. That's right. I gave up, gave a parcel of blueberries to, uh, to Gemma earlier. No. I said, have you tried if you still have essence? I said, oh, OK. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, but... Um, Not in the slightest, no. Uh, they are such beautiful colours that you see on, on all dragonflies, but yeah. British dragonflies are absolutely stunning. They're lovely, aren't they? And I think they are so... What I love about, because of the wing and the body structure and things, you can... Obviously, tell that they are. They're a lovely. They're a lovely symbol. A dragonfly. They I are. think. I think so as well. I but think they're lovely. They make me think of summery times. Yeah. yeah. And they make me think of being near water, which yeah. I love. I love to be near oh, water. Oh, I like to. So I like a nice river and having a and little a picnic by the yeah, and a, a canal barge. <laughs> uh, yeah. For some reason, I seem to be looking at uh, Jen tonight and thinking canal barge. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know where the connection is at all. Um, but yeah, beautiful jewellery. As you said, the colours of these Appetite, these Fluorite, right, these mm -hmm. Keshi pearls go fantastically with the bare copper wire. Mm -hmm. They really, really do. And that price, but yeah, the kit is going really quickly. So if you do want those kits, I know there's a lot of you hovering no, when you it's in your baskets. <laughs> you can leave it there. You can dare to leave it there. But the chances are it will disappear to somebody else uh, that is prepared to grab that at $24.95. It's a reduced price point for the kit live on the show today. Once the stock disappears, that price point is uh, you can't get it. Or if the reruns of the shows play overnight and it gets to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, again, those prices will reset to the prices that they should, in fact, be. So that is a really good live show discounted price for you at $24.95. So good luck. Good luck. Um, if you think that there are seven components in that kit, including three strands of gemstones and four reels of wire, you're actually talking at that price point of £24.95 is £3.56. So we're actually giving you each reel of bare copper wire for £3.56, which is extraordinary enough. But then on the flip side, if you think about it, that means that you're actually getting fresh water, 
Keshi Peacock Pearls. Keshi's the key there, and Peacock, for £3.56, let alone the Sky Blue Appetite and the Fluorite. Outstanding. That really is, that's to be celebrated. That's Jewellery Maker at its very best there. Now, Gem, as always, you have excelled yourself on the theme that we have given you. I am hopeful that that means you will give us a demonstration on a dragonfly. I have indeed prepared a dragonfly. Good. That is accessible for everyone, a beginner's level oh, dragonfly. Oh, brilliant. So even I could do this? Uh, yes. Right. Absolutely, you could. Shall we hand over to you then, Sweet Pea? So we're going to be using all three gauges of the wire. And Great. the main body of your dragonfly is going to be made with the one millimetre gauge. Oh, and one. this is the variation of the little chaps that we're going to make and I've got him just sort of standing on a little bit of a coil there so theoretically he could sit on the table if you wanted him to he could be part of your table Aww. decor uh, but obviously you would use that excess wire to wind it into your jewellery designs add it to a ring do whatever you want to do can we call him David you can call him David thank you <laughs> strange bird but I love you. <laughs> right so I'm just going to move him out of the uh, shot for the moment and we're going to start off by making the dragonfly's body. I'm okay. using about eight to nine inches of the one millimeter gauge bare copper wire and the first thing that I'm going to do is use my round nose pliers to find the approximate center of the wire. If it's not dead center it doesn't matter but uh, what we're going to do is make his bottom. So dragonfly bottom forming time which is not something I dreamt I'd ever say in my yeah. life. I'm just yeah. going to curl that around until those two ends come up together. Now you can see that I've got one side which is slightly longer than the other, so you could, if you wanted to, kind of edit that by moving things around. But in the essence of time, I'm just going to trim that excess away and move on to creating his little antenna. Now, technically... Dragonflies don't have the same sort of antenna that butterflies do. They have hairy eyeballs. Having looked at dragonfly pictures quite closely, which sounds deeply attractive, and again, hairy eyeballs is not something I thought I'd be saying today. But for the essence of beauty, and this is your aesthetic interpretation of a dragonfly, we're going to give him a little couple of curly antennae on the end. Now you can make them quite tight, you can leave them a bit more open, and if you wanted to, you could set further gemstones into those apertures if you want. But we're just going to make some basic little uh, eye gear, hairy eyeballs. <laughs> wow. And I'm just going to squeeze those two little coils flat so that they take on some strength, which is created when we shock that bare copper which is absolutely a joy to work with because you can do so much with it. If you wanted to hammer that and give it some texture, you absolutely could. But what we're looking for here is a tapering, fatter bottom, skinny top with those two sort of little coils at the top there. The next thing we're going to do is cut ourselves the length of the 0.8mm bare copper wire, which I have here. And I'm just going to give an estimation. That's probably around about you 16. Are you all right? It's about 16 to okay. 18 inches, it's not far off that, um, okay. which is probably more than we need. However, if you use that little bit more, then you would have a little bit stand. of excess to make a slightly better, more stable stand than I, I didn't leave myself quite enough there. So I'd probably use this in a necklace design, in which case there's plenty just on this little coil on the end to wrap that into your design or pop it on a ring or whatever you want to do with it. Add it to a hat pin. I went hat pin crazy today. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Some random conversations coming out this evening, aren't there? There certainly are. Yeah. Hairy eyeballs. See, spring is in the air. <laughs> so what we're going to do, it's about 16 to 18 inches of the 0.8mm gauge, and I'm going to start wrapping that round three or four times near the top end where those two little coils are. And to make life easier, especially if you're a beginner and not used to kind of wrapping with wire, don't start trying to wrap the very end come down about an inch to an inch and a half to make your life that little bit easier. Now I'm applying quite a lot of pressure with my non-dominant thumb and forefinger and just drawing the wire around. I want those two uprights, the two lengths that join onto these little coils on the end to stay side by side and not kind of climb on top of one another. So I'm going to draw that tail around until my coils sit nice and neatly. What you can do as you go along is give them a bit of a squeeze to keep them tidy. Yep. Take that end over the top. And what I would probably do, if this was a piece of jewellery, 
I would endeavour to make sure that that end was tucked away in a place where it's not going to come into contact with the skin. But again, in the essence of time, I'm just going to trim that away, but you would need to be sure that that's not going to interact with fabric or skin or hair. So we're just going to bring that last coil. There are four coils that you can see near the top here. We're just going to bring them all nice and tightly together using my bent chain nose pliers. And uh, what you could do if you wanted to is condition the one millimetre body a little bit to make it a little bit less bendable. Or you could hammer it before you get to this stage. The choice is entirely yours. So just squeezing those pieces until they sit flat and I'm happy. So we're going to start by making the first wing. Now the piece that I was just looking at earlier, which I'll just drop into vision, he was made using a pair of standard round nose pliers just to create the little shapes on the end of those wings. So if you don't have bail making pliers, you will still be able to have a go at this project. And I'd love to see your variations if you do have a go. So I'm going to take this out of the way because what I quite like to use is my bail making pliers. Now I have a triple set here, um, which are always quite useful. So if you do see them coming up on the schedule, do give them a grab. I'm just going to pop him out of the way. Now, if you wanted to replicate a specific butterfly or dragonfly or damselfly, then it's worth sort of doing a little bit of search engineering to see what the dimensions of the wings are. But I'm just going to go a little bit romanticised in the notion that I want my first wing to be smaller and shorter than my second wing. So I'm going to use the smallest section of my bail makers to make my first wing. And then my second wing, I'm going to use the middle section, so just going up in size. So, what we're going to do is draw the wire around. This is the 0.8mm, and I'm just pushing that until it sits and comes back across the body where it starts from. So there's a little bit of a kink in the wing there. So what I'll do is I'll just go in and give that a bit of a straighten, maybe strengthen that wing up a little bit by applying pressure across it. All I'm doing is... Snap, 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 nom, 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 nom as you prefer. <laughs> and we're just making sure that that's slightly open, not too close, because we might want to drop some gemstones. As you'll see from the hat pin designs, you don't have to add the gemstones, but with the jewellery that we have uh, available to us today with the beautiful content of the kit, yeah. it seems a crime not to add some of the fluorite or some of the, the keshi pearls yeah. or some of that glorious appetite to the design. So you've got lots of choices. And they are such beautiful dragonfly colours. Oh, gorgeous. So my next section is to do a single wrap around the body. I need to support my wing. If you don't support your first wing, it will change in shape. And we've decided that that's the size and shape we want to keep. So again, non-dominant hand comes in and supports the wing, whilst I wrap the tail of my wire all the way around one time, so it comes over the top, underneath, back over the top in the exact same direction and in the continuation of where it was originally going. Now what this gives you is a dragonfly with ever so slightly offset wings but for me I think that that's quite an artful interpretation and, and I think that that is acceptable. So what we're going to do now is basically a repeat of your first side so if you wanted to take a tape measure and ensure that this was exactly the same you can but I'm just going to get this wing it. You see what I just uh, wing it. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, nobody's laughing. Literally, nobody is laughing. <laughs> Never I mind. <laughs> That's because you're my mate. <laughs> wing it, <Papa>. Brilliant. <laughs> so you can see, I'm just going visually oh. by eye, and what I'm doing is because I felt that that side was a little bit different, I'm just moving the pliers until I feel that they're equal. If you want to take tape measure to it, go right ahead. So again, we're going to need to support that wing. So I'm just going to switch my grip, support the wing in position, and chase not just the one time around, but a second time around. And that gives us a little bit of a distance between those two wings. So we've added a body segment. And then I'm going to move on to slightly larger, wider wings with the second stage on my bail making pliers. So they're a bit longer. There we go, into position, draw that across the body and until it intersects where you want it to intersect across the top. Support, twist around, back in the opposite direction. Again, if you want to measure that exactly, you can. I'm just going to pull that, give it a little bit of conditioning, come back in with the central section of my bail makers until it looks approximately similar. 
So when we get back to the top of the body where the uh, wings come away from the midsection, we're just going to wrap a couple of times now. If you want to work with slightly longer wires, then you can obviously make slightly longer body sections, but we would just leave this little tail sticking out until we decide what we want to do to it. We can coil it and make it into a stand or we can use this wire to add it to our jewellery or headgear projects. I think they look amazing on fascinators. Lovely brooches as well. Gorgeous brooches, absolutely. So if you wanted to leave that as just a wire work dragonfly, what you can do to add a little bit of interest is just pop a little bit of curvature in those wing tips. And if I tilt that upwards, you'll be able to see, yeah. if I show you on two, you'll be able to see that there's a lovely curvature there, which I will then replicate on the far side. And if you wanted to add further interest, you could do the other wings going in the opposite direction. Again, that's not something that technically happens in many dragonflies, but this is your artistic representation. So you can now kind of just play around until you get the angles that you like. Obviously, this is quite a long body that we're looking at which I think is really quite attractive yeah. that you can do as you prefer. So the last part of the design would simply be to add in some gemstones into any of the wing or parts of the body that you would like to do. So I'll just show you very, very briefly how to add in a gemstone to sit on top of the wing like so. Can I just quickly mention, just while we've just got a momentary mm -hmm. break there, uh, collectors, Cheryl in Maine, Julie, Catherine, Angela, collectors, those, those of you that have, I know we're all really enjoying Gem's <laughs> demo, I'm just worried that you're going to get to the end, forget you've not checked out your basket at that brilliantly priced, just for the cashew pearls, it's fantastic, mm. but there you go, 40 metres of bear copper wire, three different gauges, the peacock cashew pearls, and the sky blue appetite, and the multicolour faceted fluorite four mil rounds, I'm just saying, that kit is getting alarmingly close to a sellout. I'm okay. not surprised. Just, just mm. saying. Now, just to draw your attention, you can really play around with the different gemstones and the different colours. All of the photographs will be uploaded at some point after the Brilliant. show, and you'll be able to have a look at the different ways in which I've played around with colour. Right. But what I quite like to do is to have some symmetry in, in the colours that I'm using. So I'm just going to lay a length of the 0.4mm gauge. This is around about a 16-inch length, and I'm just going to let that sit underneath find the centre, sit that underneath the body of the dragonfly and draw it until I can feed the end into the first wing and I'm going to feed that through three or four times so that I get a really good grip. Everything that you do on one side you would then want to replicate on the other. So because where the wing comes away from the body it's too narrow to sit a gemstone inside, I'm just going to do a little bit of basket weave so that's coming up through the centre and over the top and always alternating your direction. So if I've come up one side, I want to go down the other. So down through the middle, give that a squeeze to get those binding sections nice and tight. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do one more of the, the basket style weave, the back and forth. So I'm coming down the center around the lower segment of this wing. I'm going to wrap three times because I kind of like having that same number and when I'm ready to introduce a gemstone, what I would do is I would unspool, not unspool, what do you do when you take gemstones off a strand? Unstrand, that's what you do. <laughs> and I'd put them all in a little bowl and I'd choose colours that were as similar as possible, which with the fluorite is very easy to do. And I just happen to start with purple in the middle, then move to green, and then move to the paler whitey cream colours. So I'm just coming over the top on this lower section and I'm going to continue over the top allowing the gemstone to sit into place draw the wire around the outside and back up the middle so I'm going to give that a nice bit of tension to just draw that into position and then it's not going to go anywhere so I've got three wraps here I do an empty wrap on the underside of the wing thin wire comes around the top passes underneath this side underneath this side and then goes back down the middle to generate like a, a bare cross, if you follow me. There's no gemstone on this section. And I'm going to do that three times, and then I would just add gemstones until I was happy with the finished product. So if I just pop this one into position, you'll see that I graduated from purple to green to white. 
Yep. And then I've, all I've done is just kind of tilted a little bit with those little furry eyeballs at the beginning. And I've also given the body a bit of curvature. But as I say, before you add the wings on, you can take a little bit of time to strengthen the body or yeah. to add some texture by hammering it. And that's all there is to your, your dragonfly that dreaming. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I don't often get that. Thank you very much. It's brilliant. It's great. It's really lovely. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm just thinking, you know these hairy eyeballs? <laughs> Never going to lift that down. Can you imagine, like, if you did a big sculpture in mm. the garden of a nice Amazing. dragonfly? And in the bare copper, as time passes, it will patina, it will That's go what I'm sort thinking. of verdigree. But imagine if you had some black pearls for the eyes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And that would be amazing. Wouldn't it? So mm -hmm. i tell you what. We'll make it a star by. Do you know, in this job, our directors, if they couldn't count backwards, we'd be in trouble. Because he has to count. What do you count back from? Was it ten or five? What does he normally do? I can't think. Ten. They do. They go and you're live in five, four, three. Why do they count it backwards, do you think? Where's that come from? Well, you have to know where it ends because if, if one person decides to give you five seconds and one person decides to give you ten yeah, seconds, if sorry, you're counting I'll up, get you'd to never know. Minute, but wouldn't you think that sometimes a director would change it and mix it and go, and you're live in one, two, three, four, five? But would you know they were counting to five? They might be counting to oh, 50. Oh, I thought of that. That's... <laughs> <laughs> should we Can not you should cut a bit we... backwards? No. No, me neither. You know that little section where I just showed myself up of just how odd and didn't think that through? Can we erase that? It's not live, is it? Can we just rewind? <laughs> when this goes to uh, the, the programme, which it stays on... Yeah, what not to do on TV <laughs> shopping. <laughs> How to show yourself up on TV shopping. Hi! Also, say hairy <laughs> eyeballs. <laughs> anyway, right then. Now, these were added, again, last minute as a little sneaky cheeky treat for you. You didn't even notice them, did you? Becky was like, where did they come from? I said, who cares? Just keep, shh. Look after our jewellery makers, especially on the late shows, oh. we like to. Because, I, oh, look at that purple in there. That's amazing. Oh. That's oh. not just black, is it? That's black yeah. plus. That is black with a beautiful myriad of iridescent colours. Now, I don't know it. I don't think that's coming through on that camera very well. Because you need balanced daylight for pearls. Ideally, around about midday, if you can. So, sorry, go on. No, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just going to say I can see some lovely pinks, purples yeah. and greens. Really, really strong, particularly the purples. Now, these are a very sizable button size. And if you are looking to create a pearl piece of jewellery which is more compact, then if you go for a button pearl, they, they nestle into one another beautifully, don't they? They really do. They and absolutely it, look amazing. And it does give that lovely... Um, I know I always do this. I, mean, I'm, I must drive you all to distraction. I just think those lend themselves perfectly to a bracelet. They really do. But what I like to do with this shape is turn every second pearl backwards. So you, the, they have... Uh, the nature of this style of pearl is to have a slightly flatter bottom and a slightly domed top. So oh, if you only. put the flatter bottom... <laughs> <laughs> you described, she described my ideal figure. A flutter bottom and a dome top. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> to make it look like they're kissing pearls. Yes, you can have, or, or it's almost like two halves of a piece of fruit nestled together as well. Yeah, it's it's, it's quite attractive. It's or a coconut different. macaroon, Miss Bubs. Yes, a, a coconut, coconut macaroon. macaroon. A macaron. A macaron. Uh, these are delicious. They really, really are great size button pearl. And they do lend themselves very well because of the flat bottom and the dome top to a beautiful solitaire ring as well. Fabulous uh, in your earrings. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, you might turn those into a lovely earring post. So I would put them onto a feature head pin, like the star or the heart in yeah. sterling silver. Tiny or a dab of glue. Swarovski head pin. Or a Swarovski head pin. That would look amazing. Yeah. With the dome side out. Yep. And then put a little notch in the back, add a butterfly post, and you are you done. You are done. 
Now, who expected that, be honest? <laughs> £6.95, quite bewildering, isn't it? But again, it is. you could add some beautiful chain onto that and make a pearl necklace with the section in the centre. The faceted, micro-faceted white topaz. Oh, now you're talking. Now you're going very sexy, Gem. Mm -hmm. Three off seven. I'm sorry. On a Thursday. Are we ready for that level of sexiness? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Dear me. £6.95. Anna in, in Kent, if you if we had an award for the first person to check out, you'd win it. Oh. It'd be lovely if we had like a little award, you know, a little award. What about an e-hug? Virtual hug. Yeah. That's gonna look great if I screen grab that later. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have a counterama? That seems like a good plan. One, two, three. I can't. It's the purple. It's mesmerising. It really is mesmerising. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've noticed nine, about ten. them is they are super, super lustrous across the surface. Really, really perfect. I know that's been done. Thirty-two. Wow. More than I thought. Mm. If I'm honest, at ten to eleven mil. Twenty-two p. For goodness sake. Now, we had, didn't we, a sterling silver findings kit mm. earlier on in the pearl. So, again, those would go beautifully with the um, peach pearls in the first kit, all natural, and the white freshwater cultured pearls, because you had some button pearls in the first kit as well in the 6 o'clock hour. We threw a little Brucey bonus kit in there for you. And uh, these are just beautiful. Glossy but black, but with a lovely bouquet of colours within in the iridescence across the surface in that beautiful job. And they give that voluptuous... Just adorable. In fact, I tell you what, they'd be nice in it. If you think about it, it's almost like a, a small version of a cabochon. Yes. With a flat bottom and a dome. So those would be it nice. Is. The prong set in a ring. Be beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Really yeah. pretty. Make sure in your prong setting pearls that you don't use a cut end of wire, that you use a bent and yeah. returned end of wire. You don't want to scratch it, do you? That'd be silly. Uh, Katie Parker taught us how to do a prong set last night in wire. Oh, with okay. a rounded end and mm -hmm. she captured a rivoli. Ah. A Swarovski Rivole. A Rivole. A Rivole. I did the Wall of Fame several months ago and it had been printed out on the back and I just parrot fashion read it out and it had said ravioli and I'm fairly oh. sure everybody thought, poor Jen. It would have been a predictive text moment, wouldn't it? It was totally a predictive text. Yeah. Like, ravioli? Poor Jen. Remind me to tell you about a predictive text thing that somebody, that happened in a church mm. recently. <laughs> It seems so like something funny. I need to find out about. <laughs> all I'll say is it had a, it was a message uh, to all the lovely churchgoers. I won't. I'll leave you to think about it. Uh, basically saying we offer a welly cleaning service. <sighs> Awkward. Anyway, I just thought I'd leave that with you. I don't need to spell it out, do I? <laughs> just in case you need your welly cleaning. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, right, <laughs> moving swiftly on from the welly cleaning service. Can I just add something that you might not know about me? Not that you're probably interested, but I, I'm putting it out there, love my wellies. I would sleep in them if I could. I love them that much. My wellies are cheetah print with see-through bottoms. Uh, oh, That's so glamorous. Oh, I like that idea. See through bottoms, like a glass bottom boat. Like a glass bottom boat. Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but your feet can't see, can they? No, but you know, just in case. Okay. Feeling a bit we welly, welly envy now. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like me to do other than stop talking rubbish? Crimp beads. Okay. I've lost my tweezers. You can. Oh, Leah, I've left my tweezers over there. Could you pass them to me, please? And mine are far, far away in a land called on the floor. I'm sorry. Thank you. What, your tweezers? My tweezers are... Your tweezers. Just like... <laughs> I would be lost without my tweezers. I love my tweezers as well as my wellies. Do you love your wellies? Wellies are great, aren't they? Nine two five sterling silver, three by two mil. I mean, that is about as classic a textbook crimp as you could wish for. They are as well, though. Can you see they've got a different finish to them? So they've got this really gentle satin tone. I'll tell you what, if you've got any of our pearl coloured wire like we had earlier, ooh, ooh, and you added in that lovely satin tone of uh, crimps, they look lovely. Now, I've, I've popped a few down on the board for you, Miss Ford, 
so you can see nice generous aperture and for those of us that are thinking aperture hole I just don't like the word hole very much I don't think it sounds very attractive so I'd rather say a nice generous aperture sounds much more elegant now this could be a spacer or they could be the traditional crimp that you put in your crimp pliers and actually crimp them down and they cover over the top yep they nice could finish. indeed but I think they're so perfect I would want to use them as space of ease. So would I. Mm. I could not put those in my crimps and crimp them down. I, I just would, I'd feel, I'd feel cruel. I know cruel what price these are going to. How do you know what price they're going to? Because I heard a little word in my ear. So I would absolutely be harvesting these by okay. the bag load. Oh, there you go then. And Je Je popping Sane. them on some thread, knotting between them. Wouldn't that be an interesting look? With our new knotting tool? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Check it out. £2.95. <laughs> two. I'm not surprised every single person so far has had at least two. Don't blame you. What are you doing, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Giggling, apparently. You do realise we're on the other side, we're live. <laughs> he sounded like a gerbil then. Maybe he's scurrying, <laughs> shaking some maraca style <laughs> seed beads. He's like that, wasn't it? With the... <laughs> um, right then. Uh, yeah, multi-buy, 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 multi-buy. 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 <laughs> when you did that, I was just thinking of the Australian quokka. And if you've never seen a quokka, you need oh, to what? head to a search engine and, and look for a quokka. It's Q-U-O-K-K-A. A quokka? A quokka. Do you know what a quokka is? Text in if you love quokkas. <laughs> I think you're quokkas. I know that. <laughs> right then, um, so you can grab those as quickly as you like. Satin finish, beautiful. So opposed to the nice shiny, nice, lovely satin finish, beautiful. I also have... Ah! Mm -hmm. That's something different for you now. Mm. This, I will have you know, Ooh. is not a measure, and we've lost the handle for a measuring spoon. It is a beautiful half round bezel charm. Now, immediately comes to mind resin or serolin. Yep, I'm, I'm thinking serolin, but also those black button pearls in serolin. Oh, yes, what a great idea that would be. Now, I don't know. If a pearl goes in serolin and doesn't react, I've not tried it myself, so that's worth having a look at before you do try. You could glue the pearl in there with no serolin. You could indeed. I know that pearls will react with your E6000 perfectly fine, and yep. that, that wouldn't be an issue. Yep. But it is worth having a look to see if anybody has used a, a genuine freshwater pearl in serolin, because I'd want one of those inside with a cut-down head pin covering yep. up the, the drill yeah, hole yep. in the pearl. I seem to think it's okay. But I would be very interested if somebody would like to contradict me. I th seem to record it's okay in Serenum, but it's just worth a quick check before yeah, you check. stick Absolutely. it all in. But you could pour some beautiful resin in there as well, make that a resin beautiful. design, couldn't you? Yeah, you've got space for sort of a yeah. lock of hair or memory jewellery as well. Or your uh, Swarovski crystals, obviously. Because it's quite a deep cup, isn't it? Oh, that's How amazing. How deep is your cup? Is your cup? How deep is your cup? About 14 I mil, I think. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, £2.95, that's great though, isn't it? And I think they'd make really pretty earrings as well. They would make amazing earrings. Jen, you could, buy, you could make those into a pair of earrings and a pendant and you still haven't spent a tenner. Because... How good is that? Well, for three of those, wouldn't you? Mm. What? How cool is that? Yeah. So £8.85? Yeah. Solid 925 sterling silver as well. I tell you what, that would just look nice on a sterling silver chain. You wouldn't have to do much of anything to it, but what you could do is adhere two halves together and pop something inside, like one of our little silver ball charms, and it'd be like a little jingly bell. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think I'm going to sneeze. I'm just going to warn everybody. Is it, isn't it? Yes, I am. Excuse me, what? Sneeze aroma. Now I do have people, uh, people, um, having three and four. Oh, why not though, three and four? 
I think they're lovely. I've never seen that before. I haven't seen it before. Do you know what I like? I like the depth. Yeah, it's lovely deep. You could pop one of those pearls in and it would protect the pearl, wouldn't it? Yeah. I was going to share with you what I was thinking, but I really shouldn't. Because <laughs> it'd be a nice, like, little... No, I better not. I better not. I better be out myself. We've got some tasseled strands coming up later. Yeah. Excellent. Can I do the lemon? The limoncella? Now, these are fab. Jen wants them. I do. I oh. want them. Oh, I'm just going to put them straight on. Look at those. They are brilliant, aren't they? Such vibrancy. Yeah, proper limoncella look. Mm. I mean, those with the black pearls we've just had, black spinel, the colour-coated mm. black spinel that we do. That would go with the keshi pearls we've just had in the kit with the sky blue appetite. That would go with the multicolour fluorite. That would go with amethyst. The list goes on peridot, garnet. I mean, you could just put that with anything and that would look wonderful. Right, cracking yellow, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning. Isn't I'd it? be tempted to add a little bit of uh, peridot myself. That would look amazing well, together. Well, I do have over there on the star by, I do have on my star by mm. little tea by over there, I do have a lovely strand of peridot, don't I? Uh, coming up. But they are, look at those, if I turn them on the side, look at the yellow. You know when you get that burst of daffodils, the trumpeting of daffodils? It's that really fabulous, bright, bright, bright yellow, isn't it? They're glorious. Oh, they are just fabulous. And the sheer size of those as well. They're wonderful. Massive boulders of gorgeousness. I love how the light is playing through Isn't it? them and casting that colour on your skin. Look at that, look at that. I mean, even when I hold it out like that, you'd expect the yellow to sort of um, get, go a bit more subtle, but it doesn't. It radiates really sharp yellow. Gosh, they are fantastic. Oh, wow. You lovely girl. Thanks, Becky, producer friend. <laughs> That's amazing. And it just isn't one gemstone that you see every, every single one of them. day. Mm. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant that it isn't showing the colour, but I was going to say every single one of them. Oh, no, they're... Every single one on the strand is vibrancy. Lemon tart meets a key lime pie and they fall in love. Citrus romance. Absolutely. In fact, that's probably what I'd call a piece if I made with both of them. Citrus romance. Mm. Oh. Oh, I like that. It's very spring colour, isn't it? The, the pairing as well as the, the lemon quartz yeah. by itself. Very springtime. Bold, bright, vivacious, energetic, exciting. Oh, it's just like you. Hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, Jen. <laughs> right. A week on Saturday or a week on Sunday, if you're going to be technical, because it's two o'clock in the morning. A week on Sunday, British summertime begins. Woohoo! If that is not the strand to celebrate, I do not know what is. We should all be wearing that on British summertime begin. Summertime, summertime, summertime. What was that? Summertime. <laughs> yeah. So, shall we do the peridot as well? Oh, can we? Yeah. Peridot, peridot, peridot. Peridot. I'm just going to show you the peridot. Because <laughs> you're right, Bonnie Strand. Just to show them together again. Look, yeah, fab, 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 fab. Can you what? imagine a beady bead of peridot? Of that peridot. I still need help to finish off the beady bead. I can get so far, I cannot complete a beady bead. I'm going to put it out there. I, I kind of get do a bit of ladder weave and then think, and I've got to put those through there. So yeah, exactly. Ooh. I can do the ladder weave, I can start the beady bead, can't complete it. So if somebody can teach me how to finish a beady bead, I would be very grateful. So, in the meantime, we have these really sparkling, really zesty, really... I think a peridot is a right show-off. Makes me think of mojitos. Mojitos, yeah. <laughs> but a peridot doesn't take any prisoners, does it? Oh, no. It doesn't apologise for being the most ludicrously light, bright, eye-popping green. It is absolutely... It sort of comes up to you, gives you a shake. Or a kiss. Or a kiss. Mm -hmm. An unexpected kiss. In one of those ones that takes you by surprise. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. And then legs it. <laughs> it's wonderful. It really is. And I promise you, if you don't own any peridot, 
I am confident that when you do get your pet first peridot, you can't stop, but you can't help but come back for more. You do have to just keep looking at it and lay it with things like your rubies, exactly. lay it with your pearls. Yep. Just such a beautiful gemstone to use with other gems. 100%. I mean, those black pearls we've just had. Mm. Black pearls and lime, and, and that lime green. And it is, it, it's an unripened lime green. Very, very fresh, very new. Yeah. yeah. 7 95 on those peridots. Brilliant price point. Absolutely. Nice length, like, 30 centimetre strands as well. And plenty to go around. Yeah. They're really pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got a nice peridot that as well, isn't it? Seven ninety five. I think so. If you've never bought peridot before, what Some a way to start right. your collection. Start a strand, mm. isn't it? Nice and long as well. Um ah, oh, right then. I have oops a daisy. Stop falling off you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Blue lace agate. Cabochon. <laughs> oh, textbook. It Absolute is. Absolute textbook. It, look, it, can only, it makes you think of somewhere like Mount Everest. It is can very landscapey. Isn't very landscape, it? yeah. Mm. And I love that because that, that for me shows the formation of our planet. Totally. It is reminiscent of, of, it? of how the geology occurs. Yeah, exactly. Layers and layers and layers of formation of this planet. But it's absolutely perfect in its blending of the colours and moments of almost translucency. Well, it's the only gemstone I'm aware of that has got opaque, translucent, transparent mm. in one gemstone. I cannot think of another one. And that's why I love them. And that's what gives you that lace effect. Can't see it as well when we've laid it down there, but... <laughs> that's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Three ninety five. Three ninety five there and it is beautiful. Completely natural as well. Ten carat solitaire, blue lace agate. Now we know, don't we? We do know in the agate range that that's like the ultimate. That is like the Mount Everest. It's the it's the it's right up there. It's oh, on the top. Is. Yeah. There are three agates that stick out in my mind and this is oh, very definitely. A Laguna agate, a Botswana yep. agate. Thank you. And, and then we have the blue lace, which is such a, a gentle collection of colours, but they work it's, so beautifully well that, together. When you think of the colours of agate, blue lace is so unique. It is. Because it's so serene as opposed to sort of that bright, bright colour of, of, of agate that we expect. Absolutely right. It's just and incredible. Serenity is something that goes, in my mind, hand in hand with the blue lace agate. Totally it's gorgeous. And that lacy effect... Joe Barkley, Logie guest designer, was running a workshop here today. And when I went in to see her, she'd got a lacy top on. She had. I saw her wedding photos from... Yeah, and she looked lovely. She looked amazing. She's not changed. She has not changed. Not one bit. Fountain of youth, Joe. <laughs> lovely. She's, very, she's a really lovely lady, Joe. Oh, she is. She's really nice. She's always a treasure. She's always smiling, isn't she? She's always smiling. Yeah. She's always like... All the time. Tourmaline, tourmaline. Oh, Ooh. can I just before I show you the gemstones? Because mm. tassels are massive. They are massive. And I've just got to show you. Look They're at them. Fab. I heard the Dolly Parton song on the radio the other day about uh, her coat of many colours that her mum made her. It's a beautiful song. Well, coat of many colours. And uh, look at those. They're so lovely. And, and tassel limbs are still massive. They are. And they're not cheap to purchase as well so if, if you use your tassels which in effect don't really cost you anything yeah. to make jewelry with then anything that you sort of sell them for is a billy bonus yeah do you remember when you used to go through a car wash and it looked like that <laughs> <laughs> so i just thought shut up just move on to the car washes then uh where oh hang on a second we're talking a very good quality tourmaline here oh my good look how deep the colors are look 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 and what, look at that as well. I've got to draw your attention every time to these strands. Look at the way we've, look at the way we've mirror colour matched. Look. Isn't that clever? It's fantastic. And it takes a real skill and eye to be able to do that. It doesn't half. <laughs> okay then. I think you got the one of the two the wrong way around, sweetie. At the front. 
If you don't mind me saying, I think we've got a little old mix up at the front. I think the two and the one have fell out and lined up together wrong. Now, there is not a mere smattering of a green tourmaline on this strand. Yep. There is a plentiful amount of green tourmaline, and that for me is very, very striking. It's some of the finest coloured green tourmaline I think I've seen. I like the spine colours. Mm -hmm. The pinks are fabulous. The clarity is sensational. I've got oranges, I've got spines. Browns, caramels, light pinks, dark pinks, purples, greens, Paddyaber blues. Oh my. Oh my, we've had to run all the way along the strand for you there just to give you that. Tw I've honestly, 12 95 is phenomenal. Again, if you've not got tourmaline, in one strand, you've got some lovely fine quality tourmaline, but lots of different colours to work with. And each section you could put in one of our slider bracelet sections. And have all the colours in one. Yeah. Give that rainbow effect. Oh, I do love a bit of rainbow jewellery. Yeah, really, really lovely. Those are proving extremely popular at £12.95. And it's not surprising, is it? <laughs> we get to pick. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> We get to pick, we get to pick, we get to pick, we get to pick. Let's have a little goosey, 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 goosey. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go for some morganite. Because these morganite with those tourmalines, if you don't mind me showing you them together. Oh, oh that is heavenly. Isn't it? I love tourmaline with morganite. I think it goes beautifully together. And that morganite brings out those colours of the tourmaline beautifully. It really does. Really does, doesn't it? Doesn't that look wonderful? It's not an obvious choice necessarily, but I do think those two combined go fantastically well together. Forty-five carats of stunning morganite. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna check with my producer because if those are natural, my goodness me, that is one fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, they are. Goodness gracious me. Fantastic quality on the Morganite. And we are going under. Under what? Oh, God. Blimey. Gosh, God. Oh, I nearly dropped myself in it then. <laughs> 19 <laughs> left. Uh, we are talking about uh, a very, very special strand of morganite there. I think you can quite clearly tell. You don't need me to kind of state the obvious. It's teach you to suck eggs because, my goodness gracious me, that is one very, very special. Look at the clarity. It's absolutely glorious. The facet work. That there is evidence that we work with some of the most talented gem cutters on this planet. Look at that. Very sizable stones in the centre there, oh. I think. It's just glorious. So I think I would want to make something and team it with the blue lace agate. So very serene would you? colours together. Lovely. With the sterling silver. Yeah. I would definitely get your authenticity card with those. They're only 25p. You can, down, you can get them yourself and add them to your order on, your, uh, on the website or the app, or you can actually ring the call centre and get them to add, add the uh, certificate of authenticity. Um, that is beautiful, beautiful. Very, sort of one of our pinnacle strands of Morganite there. Right then, after the break, we have got today's must-have. Going under £10. So a little bit of a treat for you. And if you love your bugle beads, if you love your seed beads and your super duos, and you want some fantastic last of stock bargains, this next hour is absolutely for you. So please do join us after the break. We're uh, an hour's away, an hour's away, we're an hour's away we be. <laughs> we are an hour away from Gem's next demo as well. Um, fantastic, beautiful, uh, great kit, great value, lots in it. So please stay where you are. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. 
why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers. You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have pre account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Buying from Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know. From the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury making journey today. Jewelry Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Thursday evening we now have today's must-have we have some sneaky cheeky bugle beads super duos seed beads coming up your way and they are the first today's must-have of which I have 89 are going under a tenner now then a mega deal a ghost grey is that really what they're called I would have thought a ghost was white, but um, apparently not according to Mayuki. We have an opaque ghost grey in a size 11. We have, in this, color, in this tone here, we have um, Delicas. Oh, you little... Ooh, Delicas as well in the teal luster iris in size 11. Mm. And in the beautiful silver lined pale gold seed beads in the larger size of size six, we have, which is a 20 gram whopper of a tube in size six. And I know the sixes are just fabulous. It's one of the least sizes I think that we see on, on uh, Mayuki. So um, size six in the silver lined pale gold, size 11 in the Delicas, brilliant in the teal luster iris seed beads and the Delica opaque ghost gray. Glorious colours, fabulous iridescence in the iris there, in the teal. 
And all three of those, including the fact that we've got Delicas, including the fact that we've got size sixes that are silver lined, all these, all these extra uh, sort of, um, what's the word, extra processes obviously normally should add to the price. But it's today's must have and it's under £10. I thank you. <laughs> first come, first serve. Now, I would suggest, quickest you can check out, whichever, now we've all, I think, well, I don't know if I say that. I've, ne I've not checked which is the fastest route. I just like to phone up. I don't know which one is the fastest route. I leave uh, an internet browser open on my phone and check out that way. Clever. That, for me, is the quickest way to. That's the quickest way. For me. Yep. yep. So, yep, yeah, there you Highly go. recommended. <laughs> there you go. So, keep your web browser open. Get, your, get yourself into your basket. Get it checked out super quick. I suppose that would be quick if you're quick on a keyboard. If you're anything like my lovely 73-year-old dad, oh, my goodness, mate, I can't cope. It just, it, it, bless him. He's brilliant at everything, but he's just not very quick on the old typing. <laughs> so, for my dad, he'd be quicker phoning. So, it all depends if you're quick on, because some people aren't, aren't very quick at typing. Some people are. Uh, some people aren't, aren't very um, okay with technology, some people are, and that's, it doesn't matter what age you are, it's nothing to do with age at all. Um, again, some people like to have a chat on the phone. 9 95 on that deal for all three tubes. It is fantastic. Now then, just recently we launched some brand new Bugle bead workshops with Mark Smith. Uh, three workshops, all three sold out. So obviously very popular, um, and we thought in anticipation of those workshops coming up soon, we would give you a, uh, a selection of the bugle beads, and it is a right selection as well. Um, I've seen some beautiful demonstrations. Have you worked with bugle beads, Jim? I have in the past, yes. And what do you think of the uh, bugle bead, young lady? Absolutely stunning. I'm loving the differences in colours in this collection it's more fun, than anything. But yeah. they are so useful outside of the remit of traditional seed beading. Yeah. They're great for coverage. Yeah. Really handy That's to have. That's a good point, actually, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. everybody is a seed beader, so uh, yeah. go for it. But again, as you say, these just as a, as a, just as a lovely... Uh, just as a, those as a stretchy bracelet. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Apologies for the amount. Guaranteed sellout. We have... We're going to give you... I'm, I'm going... We're going to, I'm a going to, spell G and U. We're going to give you, rather, the colours and let me read them out to you. So I have Silver Lined Aqua and Cobalt Twisted Bugle. I have the Twisted Bugle Crystalline, Crystal Aurora Borealis. I have the Silver Lined Clear Light Topaz. I have the Bugle, Twisted Bugle, they're all Twisted Bugles, in the Transparent Green AB. And yeah, there you go then. So I'm just going to get one out and show you, actually, if I may. Let me show you. Let me pull you some of those out. Just to show you the twist, because they're really cool. Oh, sheet, come back. I've dropped the sheet on the floor. Oh, Gem, you are lovely. Thank you. She just got the sheet for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you are very kind. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just a lovely stretchy bracelet in the Bugle Bees looks fantastic. Great coverage, great spacers. And you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, because we've got the green. We've got all these, oh, they're about to sell out. Gosh, you've nearly gone. Uh, in nearly in single figures already, the computer's trying to keep up with you. Gorgeous colours, uh, absolutely fantastic. Beading Bugles, they're ace. Lots of the A, B. Oh, Sue, be quick, my darling. Collection Merseyside, do be quick. Lydia in Pennsylvania, be quick. Helen in Hampshire, be quick. Lynette in Derbyshire, do be quick, won't you? Uh, gorgeous colours, gorgeous golds, gorgeous Aurora Borealis as well. <whistles> they are sexy. And if you are coming on Mark's uh, Bugle Workshop, do bring those with you and you can incorporate those into your designs. If you would like to. They could make some good, an uh, uh, I can never say, an antenna. Uh, what is antenna? it? Antenna. Antenna, there you go. Antenna on some little animals as well, those, couldn't they? They would be fab. Uh, Very, that level of sort of iridescence, especially yeah. with the twisted element Look with great, the glass. Isn't it? Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Uh, right then. Um, oh, I've got these here. Now, I, I said these are on and gone. Now, I've got, well, I've got hardly any available, I'm afraid. So if you do fancy these, 
then you will need to be quick if that's okay. If you want them, obviously. So, beautiful blues, one of the most popular colours of seed beads. And as you can see here, we have got the Delicas in size 11. Now we have, uh, all tubes are Delicas, which are fantastic. All tubes are size 11, and I have got the lovely colours, very sort of mermaidial colours. I've got grey lined aqua, matte transparent blue zircon, opaque sea opal ABC beads, and one of the most popular colours there that we have. In fact, it is said to be the most popular colour of Mayuki Delica and sea beads. It's the sea foam. Now, Delicas. Those of us that uh, know sea beads know a Delica, we know the price of a Delica. Not today. I'm about to take one, two, three, four tubes, which by my reckoning takes those to £3.25. £3.25 for a tube of some of the most popular colours of Delicas, including the Seafoam Luster, the Opaque Sea Opal AB, the Matte Transparent Blue Zircon, and the last one, which I can't tell you because she took them off me. Right, you want to take all the information? There you go, grey lined aqua seed beads. I do apologise. Sorry, darling, but you whopped it away from me. It's not one of those when one of those waiters come and whip the, uh, the you know, when they do that, that thing where they take the, the, the tablecloth table table yeah. and not leave everything on. <laughs> Never had that done to you in a restaurant? It's really, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I wore everything on the table. This waiter thought he could do it and he couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Great price. How many do we have, sweetie? We only had 25, unfortunately. And they've already gone to Philippa, Fiona, Angela, Heather, Kate, because they're so quick with checking out. Kim, Ali, Marion, Esther, Lena. Um, I've got Mahinda, Christine, Amanda got it in their baskets. Dorothy's just swooped in on that free phone number at the bottom of the screen. She's had a little chat to our call centre. Hello, Dorothy. What a great name, Dorothy. It's so... I'd love to be called Dorothy. I think it's a grand it's name. A, it is a grand name, Dorothy. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, they're about to sell out. Now, oh, we're going to a lot of people's very, very much their favourite. It's the Super Duo. 29 left. I got to say, out of all the uh, seed beads and the bugle beads and the matubos and all the different types and the Kali beads and the Mayukis, I am. Um, I think. I think Super Duo might have to be my favourite. I love them. These especially here are your turquoise coloured turquoise green Super Duo. They are ace. This is a very summery, very winty, very all year round because you've got the wonderful chalk crystal uh, Super Duos, which are fabulous. And then these, excuse the pun, but hello, that's the Halo Cerulean Blue Bead. Mm, mm, mm. The Super Duo are made out of a glass mould, so that every single one is the same. They've all got two holes, and they make the most beautiful, we've had some fantastic guest designers do some seed bead uh, DVDs. All sorts of designs, and bracelets, and necklaces, and earrings, and the Super Duo, the one good thing about, well, the one sort of thing that people talk about with seed beading is it can take quite a while to bead, uh, to, to sort of make the design with the seed beads. But what you'll find with the Super Duo, and I'm sure Gem will back me up here, is that the design tends to build quite quickly. You've almost got kind of two layers at yeah. once. So you do, it does kind of take yeah. on that, that the bigger aspect sooner, yeah. which is lovely. Yeah. I do love, do you like Super Duos? I do. I like the Teela and the Half Teela as well, but Super Duos are really cool because they're yeah. quite substantial. So I they like, do give you that chunky, yeah. enormous feel. And I love the Cerulean Blue. It's an amazing colour. Oh, it's beautiful. And good news is, you're going to get all three Super Super Duos. Are you ready for this price point? £14.95. That's each tube less than a fiver. You feel like you need a, a bugle, don't you? Or a da 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 da. You need a fanfare. You know, like the Queen gets when she gets out of her carriage. I thought you was going to say when she got out of bed. 
podcast. Well, she does. Does. She doesn't. Oh, wouldn't it be ace? If you're, like, you know, you're lying in bed and you want to go make yourself a cup of tea and you can't be bothered and you don't know if the heating's come on. We've all had those moments, haven't we? And you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to get up. But then you think, but can you imagine if you were lying in bed and your alarm clock call was a group of men out, or women outside your bedroom lined up with a flag hanging down from their bugle going, with a proper fanfare, if they were bringing me a cup of coffee, that would be yeah. great. Yeah, be ace. Without the coffee, I'd probably say, shh. Stop <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be in a mood when he got up, would you? <laughs> be nice. Uh, right then, now. There's un, de trois women in. I actually did that when I was in Switzerland and I'm so embarrassed. I try and speak the language where I am. It was, but, well, well, we went to Castard and it was German. We went to the other places in, um, in Switzerland and it was French. So you had to switch between three languages. Very difficult. Anyway, I got exhausted. I couldn't think of a table of seven in French. So I did go, could I have a table of seven? <laughs> <laughs> it worked, but I was quite embarrassed. <laughs> I was embarrassed that I did the English, the English language with a French accent. I would have paid good francs to see that happen. Do you Can have you a imagine? table of a seven? <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I know set. But I couldn't go a table of set. <laughs> a table pour set. Is that what it is? Something like that. I can ask for a beer. Je voudrais un grand beer, s'il vous plaît. A big one, I say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Garçon. <laughs> oh, now, the Cali beads. The Cali beads. Makes me think straight away of our lovely Patty McCourt. Oh, isn't she beautiful? She's, oh, her cheekbones. <laughs> her accent. Oh, but this is, I guess, is on a Patty McCourt. She's so lovely. Oh, I need to just have her at my house for a week. <laughs> She's so lovely. I don't think she'd come, but, you know. Um, now, these are the Cali bead. And they're fabulous. They are the Czech Cali bead. We've got them in black apricot. Oh, that's new. Oh, black apricot. I don't think I'd eat a black apricot, but there you go. <laughs> uh, the Cali chalk white. Now, have I got the... Hang on, have I got... Oh, I haven't got the right ones. I'm having a moment. Ignore me. Fuck, ignore me. I'm having a moment. I thought they haven't got three holes in them. Sorry. I didn't look at what I was doing, did I? Here are the Cali beads. So, the black apricot. We'll try again. 19 left. Three whole Cali beads. We have got the violet opal, which are these ones here. Beautiful, Ooh. yeah. Then we've got this, which is the black apricot. They are... Oh, these are right lively one, he is. And then we've got the wonderful uh, chalk white. Fantastic. You get 100 roughly in each tube. So that's 300 of the Czech Cali beads, and we've got them for £9.95, £3.32 a tube, which those of you that buy uh, Cali beads regularly, um, you will know what a great deal that is. They are super. And they've each got three holes. Each extra hole. It's a little, little bit like adding a different size jump ring in um, chain mail. It's going to really change the number of designs that you can do. Two left and 15 in baskets. Sorry. Right, should we try the ones that I was showing you and not paying attention? <laughs> Sorry. Go back to the super duos. Sausage. I like sausage, do you? I do. I love a sausage. I haven't had a sausage for ages. I'm really, I've got a yearning for it. No! There's a butcher near me do the most fantastic sausages, Lashford sausages, and they're all different flavours. I haven't had a sausage for months and months and months, and I think I'm going to treat myself tomorrow. I'm going to go to the butchers and say, give me some of your fabulous sausage. I am. I am. I, well, live on my own, so I do. I, I mean, I go, can I have three sausages? Is that all you want? I go, yeah. Just the three, thanks. Three sausages, that's all I need. Right then, so, last of stock super duos. We've got the lovely tones, actually. We have got the uh, Pastel Montana Blue, which is fab. The Opal Rose White, the Nebula Coral Red, and the Aqua Capri Gold Beads. Beautiful, lovely, I love these. They're good. This is the Montana. Oh, the Montana are fab, those. Woo! We do like those. Then you've got the um, Capri. Is there, has anybody been to the island of Capri? It's beautiful. Never. Oh, it's pricey, mind, but oh, I've got, I got a ring stuck on my finger in the jewellers on the island of Capri. Oh, never had such a panic attack in my entire life. And to this day, I'm still scared about trying rings on. 
because of that panic attack in that shop jewel of shopping capri it did sound like the beginning of a limerick though <laughs> oh hang on i've just had a tip say that again you press on the top knuckle will you come and show me in the break because i'm so scared about it sorry uh now then less than a five or a tube again at 19.95 and there's only six left. That's why adjustable rings are such a brilliant idea on Jewelry Maker. N removes all that, all that fear of getting a ring stuck on your finger. Totally agree. Honestly, I've never had such a panic attack as, I mean, I'm lucky if that's the only panic attack I've had, but proper had a massive panic attack in that shop, but I've never got over it. Anyway, well done. Well done. Excuse, excuse me, what? There's five left. I've got some tillers. Yay. Can we do it? Yay! Tillers! Yay! These look like... Oh, these are the half tillers, darling. The half... When I say half, not technically true. Because the tiller is five by five. Right? Five by five mil. The tiller, therefore, half should be five by two and a half, but it isn't. It's actually five by two. So it's a little bit less than half. But it doesn't sound so good, does it? Is it me or is that half tiller tube a little bit tipsy? Look at that one there. You're a bit tipsy, you are, look. <laughs> What's that one been on? Cocktails. Oh, is that a few cocktails? A few sherbets? Uh, right then, we've got the half tiller in the matte black AB, the matte metallic copper, the matte opaque orange, I do like, that's the tipsy one, and uh, the metallic gold iris as well. They're all 5 by 2 mil. 23 chances left. It is a little on and gone, little cheeky deal uh, bargain section for you. The half tiller tastic. This is one of Jem's favourites. She was rather partial to a half tiller. Oh, I do like a half tiller. Do you like mm. a tiller or a tiller? A tiller. You call it a tiller. Should I be calling it tiller? Some, some guesses on us call it tiller, some call it tiller. Tiller, tiller. I'm easy. Tell me what you want me to call it. No, I just was <laughs> intrigued. No, it's like some people say Severloon, some people say Severloon. 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 There were 21. We have gone to less than a fiver for a half tiller. Well done to Kate, Fiona, Tricia, Philippa, Kathleen, Fiona, Esther, Maria. Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. Maria and Tila. Close, isn't it? You match. Anyway, Sharon, Maria, Edwina, Jill, you do need to be quick, Rama, because I only have 17 remaining. I, what's your favourite colour? Those. Do you know what that reminds me of? Those. Have you ever seen the um, mega flakes? The, the wait, what? You know what's in the tubs of the mega flakes? Oh, we like used the to have? gilding flakes. Yeah, the gilding yeah. flakes. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, our mega flakes. I miss those. Mega. Mega flake. Oh, I can't wait till it's British summertime because my ice cream man will pull up outside my house. He does. He comes onto my little estate, comes up to my cul-de-sac, pulls, pulls up outside my lounge window. I can lean out and he passes me my, my, my 99 through the window with me flake. How good's that? I love that. Anyways. <laughs> I think that's great. It's not so good for me figure, but, you know. I just think it's an odd question as well. They go, do you want a flake? Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> and the strawberry sauce. And the hundreds of thousands. Okay. Can anybody see the tillers? Mm, Dan? Dan, am I missing some tillers? Gorgeous face. Uh, we're just asking Dan in case you didn't all hear my dulcet tones there because either <laughs> they're staring right... Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? You know, something's staring right at you. you go, Dan, come here, you. Are you having your lunch? Sorry, darling. I do apologise. <laughs> There should be, see those ones on the big screen, they should be there, and unless they're, unless they're right in front of me, Dan, I can't see them, darling. Have you hidden them, Dan? Maybe. Maybe, he says, I'm having a bit of a, uh, he's having a bit of a, um, what number were they in what time? 25. Oh, he's having a little, hang on a second, everybody, he's having a little goosey. Have you found them? Yay! Round of applause for Dan. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. 
I'm so sorry to interrupt your lunch. Or whatever it is you're having at 25 past 8 at night. I'm so sorry, my friend. Oh, aren't these lovely pastel tones, um, Gem? Look at these, sweetie. They are really delicious. Oh. And it is sweetie. They really are, aren't they? Oh, gosh, they're so pretty. Oh, they're very fairy tale, aren't they? They are. A little but, bit like baby unicorns. Yeah. Tale as old as time. Dee, 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 dee. They've even got like a princess crown on the tube, Laura. Oh, they're well, so they cute. have, haven't they? They're so cute. Oh. oh. How much is that? A tube then? That seems very low for a. Pardon? £3.73 for a whole tube of full tea. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. So Ha, um, no, these are half tealers again, aren't they? No, full tealers. Are these? Hang on, can I see what these ones are? Oh, there's some, some, um, some, t some full and some half. So there's half in the light rose, half in the silk pale lavender, full in the full tealer in the matte transparent light blue, A B, and full tealer in the opaque antique rose. So uh, yes, yeah, so you got uh, two of them are full tealers uh, or tealers, and two are half tealers at fourteen ninety four. That is a right steal. How many got left, sweetie? Oh, do you know what? Great news, great, 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 great news, everybody. Thank goodness we found them because actually got fi I had 55, so they're a little bit higher, aren't they, volume-wise? Volume two tubes of full tealer, two tubes of half tealer, £3.73, yeah? <laughs> Is that your mystic Xena look? <laughs> Is it £3.73? Do you mind if I just ask my lady on cameras a question this evening? I've got to ask. Now, Leah, are you allergic to your top tonight? Oh, keep getting hot. Keep getting hot. I've never seen a top go on and off as much. <laughs> I, it's like she's allergic to it. It's really warm and then it's, it's gone. Oh, okay. I'm just, oh, okay. We need to get a volume control for your skin, don't we, sweetie? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we can turn you up and down. Because it's a lot of hard work. Keep taking your top off, love. Right then, we are taking those to a giveaway price, if you don't mind. They are about to sell out. I, I did have 55, which is a reasonable volume, but they are those fairy tale colours. The two tubes of the tillers, the two tubes of the half tillers. Uh, even my lovely um, US mum, the lovely Maxine, has just come in, and uh, she's about to get those. In a, she's got them in a basket. Leave them in your basket at one's peril, because they are about to disappear. Now, either Becky's voice has just broken, <laughs> or I have a new producer in my ear. Oh, hello, sales manager Scott. <laughs> yes, hello, sailor. <laughs> that thought... is where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Sorry to call you back in. Now, our producer's not very well, so Scott has just come back in. Oh, did you just got home? Have you just got home and then you got to come back again? Oh, bless you. The joys of being in management. It's your snow day team, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. How are you, lovely? You alright? Would you like a cuddle? Huh? Welcome to my world when I speak to me. Would you like a cuddle? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right, could you just check the system, darling, sales manager? That means we're going to get some naughty pricing coming in. Woo -hoo! How many do we have remaining, darling? <laughs> well, I know you don't know what you're doing, but if you could answer me the question. The question was, how many do we have left? Okay, thank... Oh, goodness me, everybody, I'm sorry. We've had a little bit of a swap over. He's coming in blind, so we've got to help him. We've got to guide him in gently. All right? Uh, Maxine, hello, darling. Hello. If anybody's got any messages for Scott, bless him, he just got all the way home. And then the poor producer wasn't feeling very well and we said, and, and then she, she rang the manager and he's come straight back and sent her home because he's so lovely. So lovely. So, they are about to sell out, obviously. They are about to sell out. Now then, what's the time? Half, I'll tell you what we could do, Scott, as you've just joined us. We could, if you fancy, 
Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to mention because you gave us this. Now, we're not doing it yet. We're doing this in, at nine o'clock. So you've got half an hour's notice. We had given to us by our sales manager, Scott, this brand new strand of black diamonds. And it's going to be your star buy in 30 minutes. I'm going to just give you a little sneaky peek. Jet black diamonds, glossy, sparkly, totally brand new. I tell you what, I'm going to I'm going to put it out there now. We are going to go under twenty pounds. How do you fancy? Now I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. I'm going to ask Scott because, quite frankly, if you've got the sales manager in the chair. You can ask him what you like and chance it. Okay, any chance we could put it on pre-order? Shall we? Because. You know, brand new strand of black diamonds going under 20 guaranteed. And um, I'm not going to give all of our secrets away, but let me just tell you, it is definitely going under 20. The code to check out right now is going to pop it on pre-order for us. You're going to let me know when you're done it, sweetie. Oh, he's done. That was quick. Code is DKNV, and you will be the MV of everybody if you don't get these checked out. Brand new strand, never been on air before. DKN for not on your Nelly, V94, brand new, going definitely under £20, guaranteed. You've got 30 minutes to check out, or, as in, 30 minutes to get ahead of the game. So you know like when they get that pre-order, we've got a, like a lovely classical concert going on in our, in our park, in Sutton Park, uh, in June. And they're giving all the residents of Sutton Park, uh, of Sutton area, Sutton Coalfield, the chance to get the, the concert early. So at least we're guaranteed to go, which I think is a nice gesture. It's nice, isn't it? So I've ordered me tickets. Do you know what as well? Can I just say this to everybody? The tickets last year were 10 pounds. I didn't go because I was working. But this year I'm not working, so I've booked them. They've doubled it to 20 pounds. And everybody's an uproar. But we're getting the CBSO. Massive concert. 20 quid, I think that's cheap. I think that's cheap. Just saying. Anyway, right then. What, darling? Yes, darling. I, no, this is very apt because I have a magnetic draw to Scott. And what does he pick? Because I think he feels the same way. The magnetic clasp. Now, we had that wonderful kit of pearls earlier, didn't we? Also, we just had that fantastic bargain, uh, all those bargain deals on super duos and tealers and half tillers and uh, Cali beads, for goodness sake, and Mayuki seed beads. One of the most fantastic clasps, I've got to say clasp, because it's a posh one, with, with seed beads, I think you'll find, is, because seed beads are so lightweight, especially if you're doing a beautiful choker or a beautiful necklace, beautiful bracelet, very lightweight, so they're very flexible, they're very fluid. These are a really great way to do up seed bead jewellery with a magnetic clasp. They are, because you don't have to have that great weight to make it feel secure. Yep. Now then, the other piece of advice. Now, I gave a beautiful magnetic clasped pearl knotted necklace to my dad's lady friend, Valerie. Now then, I gave her a tip. Because do you know what she was doing? And although it still worked, because if you think about it, right, I'm just going to show you, first of all. That is a big expanse of magnet. So much so, if I put it down on the, on the table for you, just watch this, okay? Watch this. Oh, oh, you have to be quick because I, I in fact, we put it on a board so it's not, uh, here we go. Now look, this is how, you could do this one-handed if you wanted to, do it up. See what I mean? Now, she was trying to prise it apart. Now, the thing is, obviously it doesn't affect the magnet, but if you've got your jewellery attached, your strand, your pearls, your seed beads to that, to that little loop there, every time you are pulling, you're going to be actually pulling on the strand, which is going to weaken the, the, the strength and the longevity of the necklace or bracelet, for example. What you do, slide it. So what you do, it's difficult for me to do because I haven't got a strand, but instead of pulling it apart because of the strength of the magnet, you just do that. Do you see how I slid it like that instead? So once you've got it together, instead of trying to prise it apart, just slide it. Okay? Sidestep. Sidestep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now my friend Val, who's, she won't mind me saying this, or she might, she's 76. She says, she wears that necklace more than any piece of jewellery that she's got, not necessarily because she just adores the pearls, which she does. She said it's the clasp. She just finds the clasp. The most, because she, she struggles. 
Because let's face it, she's 76 and she's trying mm -hmm. to do a tiny little lobster claw, which is fiddly behind your hair at the it best is. at any age. Mm -hmm. Forget the fact that she's 76, age is almost irrelevant. But now watch this look, right? I haven't even got any jewellery on the end. How simple is that? It's done, isn't Bang, it? It's done. Seconds. Yeah, it's honestly. I think in jewellery making terms, for me personally, that's one of the best things ever invented, a magnetic clasp. Now, as we've got the sales manager in the chair, you can do better than that. Come on, don't start the I might be able to, I'll try to. No, don't try. We do. Oh, he's trying to say he can't. Oh, really? You've got tools to undermine the cost price on the system. We know you have. Don't chat amongst yourselves for a minute while he works out what is, you know. It's a beautiful colour as well, isn't it, to have the rose gold over the top. Sorry, darling. I was just saying it's a beautiful colour. It is. It's so it, lovely to have it in the rose gold it is. over well, the sterling silver. Yeah, it really is. And that's what's lovely as well. I didn't even have to pick it up with my tweezers. <laughs> the tweezers do it all for me. We've just taken the post and packaging off. Mainland UK post and packaging is, for the entire day, £2.95. And we've just taken £4 off there. It is stamp 95, as you can see, if I just turn that around for you there, look, so you can see there. Not stamp 90, stop dancing. Uh, 95 sterling silver stamped. And you've got that... Uh, Big, I mean, have you noticed the gram weight of silver in that one clasp? 4.6 grams of solid sterling silver, I'll have you know. So that's taken it under my golden rule of, of £2 per gram, hasn't it? Yep. And that's with a rose gold on the top. Yep. And it's such a beautiful sheen as well. It's beautifully yep. smooth. It's going to work amazingly with uh, your hot gemstones, like your garnets, as, yep. as much as it will your classical gemstones. Sorry, Leah. Sorry, darling. <laughs> Sorry, I popped it down. <laughs> I hadn't spotted to, to, I hadn't got her on cameras. There you go. So, just to prove again how simple it is to do up, you don't even need to try and... You know when you've got like a bracelet on your wrist and you're trying to... The, the bracelet is draped over the wrist and you're trying to do it up and you get frustrated because you can't actually... It slides off the wrist. All you've got to do, get that even in the close proximity of the other magnet. You can feel the pull starting there. Look, starting. It's almost faster than the eye, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. The only thing is... Oh, do you remember him? Hong Kong Fooey, number one super guy. Hong Kong Fooey, quicker than the human eye. Oh, he was ice. I quite fancied Hong Kong Fooey. Did anybody else quite fancy Hong Kong Fooey? <laughs> I did. Is it the mild mannered janitor? <laughs> anyway, so show me age, aren't I? All the young kids in the studio go, Who are you talking about? <laughs> Who's Hong Kong Fooey? He used to wear his pajamas. And the ironing, he used to sleep in the ironing. Yeah. Board. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Quite anyway, a fan of bat think as well. Yeah. Pardon? Quite a fan of bat think. Bat think, yeah. And caveman. Captain Caveman. <laughs> yeah. So, ooh. Oh, what was your favourite classics? <laughs> what was your favourite? Yeah. There's some great cartoons, wasn't there? And Dog to Count Duckula. Oh. So. Now, rose gold plated, ninety five sterling silver. Can I just ask, actually, how many of those are left, sweetie? About 100 left, we had a lot, a lot of checked out already. Um, could you write the code down for that? Because I need some more of those, sweetheart, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you. Right then, now we've got some more rose gold, haven't we, sweetheart? Spacers. Where are you? Hmm? I don't think we have those in front of me. We have um, jump rings. Should we do the jump rings? If you get chance, Leah, mm -hmm. to set what number in the eight o'clock hour, darling? Sorry, you can see all the all the behind the scenes here, aren't you? What number spaces, darling? In the hour? In number eight. If you get time to look in box number eight there, Leah, sweet, gorgeous face, would you mind? There's nothing in there. There's nothing in okay. No way I have knocked him on the floor! Very dare you! <laughs> I feel that was a bit harsh. Do you? Harsh but fair. <laughs> I'll grant you. 
boats. <laughs> I've not dropped anything, Scott. <laughs> oh, hang on, I can't have picked up the right thing here, sweetie, have I? Have I? Okay. Uh, wonderfully crafted rose gold uh, coloured brass. There's brass underneath there, darlings. 24.8 grams of brass, actually. Uh, fabulous open jump rings, and they are open, so they're all precision saw cut for you. You haven't got to worry about that, so they'll close lovely and flush, nice and secure. And we're not doing our usual parcels of 10 or possibly 50 or even 100. That is a bulk buy. Now, we know, we, we know what we do when we buy bulk. When you buy bulk of anything, you get a cheaper price, don't you? Because you're buying more of them at one time. This is true. You giggling at me? No, I wasn't giggling at you. I was giggling I've got at that face that makes people laugh. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Camera three was on. Oh, she see that? <laughs> oh, I tell you what, it's all going on tonight, isn't it? Just when the sales manager's in, she hasn't done that all night. She hasn't done that all night, Scott. She hasn't. Oh, I love you. I love you. Thank you. So, two hundred rose gold. So you got rose gold over the top of the brass. Two hundred jump rings. I mean, you could make a full Bison time bracelet out of there. You can. Two hundred in the seven mil is plenty enough. With plenty a few enough. left over, <laughs> and they look like they're a really nice gauge as well. So when you close them up. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they will, you know, be nice and secure. They, they look good and solid. They do, don't they? Mm. And that's what you want in a jump ring, don't you? Oh, yes. It's got to be solid. Oh, yes. Mm. Jump for my love. Jump it. We've had a bit, we're feeling a bit singy-songy tonight, Scott. We're very excited. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Thank you for coming back and looking after our poor Becky. It's very kind of you. She must have felt poorly because she didn't say goodbye. I think she just decided to get home and get horizontal. Oh. Right then. The lovely Leah, who you just briefly just saw amble pass. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it's it's I, I always struggle to see because the lights sort of I don't know if you've ever seen a camera in a studio, but there's a, a little the camera's like this, <laughs> big on a tripod. And then there's a little tiny light, like that big, that's very dull dull light it's not bright and actually when you're walking behind a camera it's hard to see if it's on isn't it i'm trying to get you out of here leah yeah. I'm trying to help you here leah <laughs> yes. yes is the answer she's going no not really i'm helping you yes <laughs> but you see that on television programs don't you when you see the the, the, the host or somebody going where's my camera where's it which where am i looking because <laughs> it's a tiny little light anyway just thought i'd share that bit of insight into a studio mm. for you in case you've not been into one now then, rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. So now we're upping the ante. We're going from the rose coloured brass to the rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. Aren't they perfection? Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful addition to the next kit in the nine o'clock hour with. Those pearly pearls. Oh, yes, we have got some rather pearly pearls. I'm also thinking with the peach pearls we had in that kit earlier in the six o'clock hour, because mm. they, they were natural as well. Beautiful spheres, four mil rounds. Now, again, earlier on in the second kit that Jem had, we had, I believe, some four mil faceted fluorite rounds. We did. So, again, they would be the perfect size because they would match the size of the gemstone perfectly. And you know, sorry, go on. No, 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 no. I was just going to say there'd be a gorgeous juxtaposition between the smoothness of the spheres of these beads yeah, with the, facet. the faceted. Absolutely. Uh, and, and also the very varying colours of the fluoride yeah. as well. So that would be a beautiful addition. Do you know what I think looks lovely? When you add one of these to the bottom of some chains, some, so some lovely rose gold silver plated chain, or do a tassel effect and do three chains, pop one of these on the end. And you know like when we have the, if you've watched regularly on Joy Making, you've seen us have the um, slider bracelets, and at the bottom of the chain underneath the wrist, there's a little ball on the end there. And that, because that extra weight gives like a pendulum sway, fluid movement. They do look lovely. Yeah. Oh, get ready for this. I thought we were going to drop to 14.95. So I, that for me is a 20-piece price bag. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, if the price <laughs> should be over £20, mm -hmm. and then we slash the price in half like Miss Piggy, hi like that, <laughs> you'd expect us to take 20 of those away, wouldn't you? But no, we've left you all 40. Did you like that impression of Miss Piggy then? Do you like it? I think that's oh, quite a good impression of Miss Piggy. <laughs> All that lovely. Did you ever cater out of uh, Pink Panther? Oh, no, no, Kato. Kato. <laughs> no, Kato. Me and my big brother used to play that and jump out on each other. No, no, Kato. <laughs> anyway, so I just. Um, yeah, welcome to the Late Show, Scott. So, 925 sterling silver underneath. Okay, they are beautifully formed, beautifully made. Um, great addition to any wire pieces to hide, because again, we talk about putting these on stretchy braces, putting these as spaces and then to earrings, but they're actually, actually great when you're finishing wire work, Gem, to actually cover some slightly, um, slightly less tidy moments in the wire work. You can add these into your, your coils or your end finishing sections, yeah. and they do look pretty, but I like the idea that you suggested, just pop them on a head pin and add them as weight to the yeah. end of your chains. They look lovely. And also, if you wanted to uh, make a piece of jewellery, quite often we put an extender chain on, and from the extender chain oh, we'll have a gemstone good idea. on a head pin. At the back. At the back, sort of dangling down. So it's really nice to sort of change that up a little bit and use these instead. Out of all the ideas, you win. You win, I think, in my opinion. I'm just the least competitive person you could ever hope to meet, so oh, are you? they're all good ideas. <laughs> See, I don't think I am competitive, but then I've been told that I am. Oh, unless it's um, a certain board game where you get, like, little wedges of different oh, colours. Oh, you're Then you're I get a little bit of that, competitive. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my dad... Can I just tell you this, right, while you check those out? My dad is so competitive, we went to give blood. Oh, right. <laughs> now, I have to have it in the opposite arm, because I have to be special, because there's no... They can't get them. Anyway. So everybody else is facing me in the room, pumping the... And I'm facing them. It's really disconcerting. I don't like it. Anyway, so my dad said, first time I took him, he went up to the nurse, he went, nurse. He said, can you set us off at the same time and see who can give the blood the fastest? Oh, Bless him. Grief. Comes over to me, he went, done it, I've done it, and I'm still halfway through. And then the nurse had to say to him, now, Mr Broadbent, you do realise that giving blood isn't necessarily a good, healthy thing? Because you're pumping the blood out quicker. Oh. Went off in a right strop. <laughs> Went off in a right strop to get his cup of tea and a biscuit, he did. <laughs> so he's a bit competitive. <laughs> to the extent of having higher blood pressure. Yeah! OK, then. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, just made me laugh. Go on, set us off at the same time. It's like, Dad, what's wrong with you? <laughs> At least you both did something amazing. Well done. Or what? Oh, yeah. Well, the first two times I went to give blood, I passed out and they said, if you pass out again, you can't come and give me the blood. <laughs> but I do, I'm really proud. My friend's just given the 50th pint. I'm very oh. proud of him. Just had his certificate. Did you get an extra big biscuit? No, Should you I don't get, get a massive biscuits. cookie when you've given you 50 don't get pints? Any extra biscuits. I, I think you should. do, you know. You know, it's less than 6% of the population give blood. Less than 6%? Because we all expect it when we go to hospital, don't we? <laughs> Alex says, hi, girls. Mind you, come <laughs> Goodness, help you if you get mine. Hiya, girls. You can still see Hong Kong Fooey and Captain Caveman on YouTube, can you? Great show hugs. Alex Newbie. Can I have a 46th birthday hug, please? Oh, yes. Happy can have a birthday. song. Should we give him a song? Yeah. Right, hang on. Her, he. I don't even know with Alex. Is that... Which Alex. Alex? Give Alex a song. Alex, can you let us know which... You know. Happy birthday to you, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, happy birthday dear Alex Newby, happy birthday to you. And a hug. You're a year behind me. 46. <laughs> it's my mum's birthday today. Yes, go on, then you can sing to your mum. Happy birthday, mum. I don't know how to say happy birthday in Finlandish. She's Finish. skiing down a mountain, um, my mum. My 73 year old mum. My dad's 73 and he was skiing with me. Yeah, last amazing. Month. Isn't it brilliant? And ice climbing. She's a crazy bird. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ovals. Yes, darling. Shall we? Why not? Why not, Scott? Look at the time. We're nearly into the next hour with the lovely kit with our lovely demo with Jim. Is that your favourite bit? I love it. Oh, oh yeah, the black diamonds, just to mention, are on pre-order. He's done it. Ten have gone already. Can they see the price we're going to yet? You, Vanguard. Little, <gasps> little, 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 oh. 
you can see a price that you're probably chuffed with. Okay, Citrine. We haven't done the ovals, have we? No, 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 I don't think so, hon. We haven't, have we? No. They were drops, they were big drops, weren't they? Oh, we that's did the big pear did. drops, yes. that's what's... Oh, bless, yeah, no, honestly, ark at me. Yeah, we did the big, beautiful pear drops. Now, I'm just thinking, if you are lucky enough to get one of these brand new strands of under £20 black diamonds, never had these on air before, um, and they are guaranteed to go under £20 because we have the sales manager in the producer's seat, which is always helpful. Um, they are on pre-order right now. We're going to bring them live in 10 minutes. The code is DKN for Nelly, NV94. You can pre-order by calling the call centre right now on the free phone number at the bottom of the screen. Press option one, tell them I would like those, give me those black diamonds. And uh, you can get those. Or you can uh, check out online, jewelrymaker.com or the Jewelry Maker app as well so those are uh, lovely um, we've got these beautiful citrines we had the pear drops earlier 60 beautiful carrots of citrine in the uh, glorious glorious um, really um, I think when you get citrine onto any skin tone there is a feeling of warmth that comes with a citrine that feeling of you know, when you, when you go on holiday and, and, and you're lying on that su sunbed or just, just for a moment while you're ordering your first cocktail of the day and you can feel that glow of warmth. It's even like when I was, it's like when I was gardening on Tuesday in my T-shirt because it was so warm. Wow. Just that feel of the first warmth of the spring sun on the skin was so uplifting. And I think that's the feeling the citrine gives you. Oh, so I tell you what, I'll be uplifted with 6 95 thanks very much. <laughs> it's capped wow. sunshine, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, were you supposed to go to 6.95, young man? No, he says. No, we weren't, <laughs> obviously. Um, again, a little bit like the pear drops that we had earlier. Huge sizes of citrine. Really beautiful. I mean, each one of those could make a fantastic solitaire pendant or ring, couldn't it? They would, but do you know what I'd be tempted to uh, get the pear drops as well? Oh, OK. And then intersperse them hanging down and just have the most sunshiny necklace known to man. Oh! Actually, put yeah, the two together. Did, did, yeah. Mm. So you mean alternating an oval with a pear drop? Yeah. To so have almost like the sun rays coming through. Wouldn't that be beautiful? If you oh. were feeling a bit sort of, uh, you could pop that on and you'd suddenly feel like pure sunshine, pure happiness. Do that. Have the lovely late great Ken Dodd singing happiness as well in uh, at your stereo in the car. You'd be beaming from ear to ear. You would. Get yourselves a tickle stick. <laughs> Leah looks confused. <laughs> Tickle stick. Um, do you not know Ken Dodd? Yeah. Yeah. You had a tickle stick. Oh. Do you not know the tickle stick? I've got a tickle stick as well. Oh, she's got a tickle stick. There you go. I'll leave that there. Six pounds and ninety. We haven't gone past the watershed yet. Six pounds ninety. I like a tickle stick. I think it's brilliant. I think they can make you smile, make you laugh. Julianne says, "What are those cabochons? Do you mean these here, Julia?" That small number. The, the ones that might just have grabbed one's attention, Julia. These whoppers, young lady. You can pay me later, Julian. No, we haven't done these yet, darling. Well, I'll tell you what, Julianne. Would you like us to do the cabochons? I'm feeling, as she's asked, that's a probably a yes. So shall we do them for you? Well, well we, I think we may. Oh, I tell you what, I have just fallen in love with our floor manager, the mm -hmm. lovely Dan, because he's colour coordinated them. Isn't that fantastic? I've been I'm, eyeing those up for ages. I love him. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever done that for me. I know you wouldn't have done it, Lee. You don't need to specify <laughs> that. <laughs> I like a bit of colour coordination. Now then, Julianne, I have here some beautiful onyx. Multi colours of onyx. Oh, I don't. That shows what I know. Agate. Now, Scott, I can make myself look daft. I can make myself look daft. But anyway, sorry. Strike that. We have multicolour agates. Beautiful colours, beautiful bandings. I mean, let me just get... I wish I, this is the point where I wish I was an octopus. <laughs> no, seriously. For hands. I wish I was an octopus and I had eight hands. I could show you lots of colours all at the same time. 
it's just been pointed out to me that an octopus doesn't actually have a, a hand. But you know what I mean? He can pick up things with these ends of his legs, can't he? So, oranges, purples, aqua blues. Look at the band. Oh, excuse me. Look at the bandings on these. Myriad of colours. I've got massive squares, beautiful slim ovals, large ovals, pear drops, rounds, fat bottom pear drops. Uh, fat brop. I can't speak now. Fat. I said it great first time, didn't I? Fat bottom pear drops. Look at those. Aren't they wonderful? Incredible markings. Aren't they? Fascinating. I would like to... I know you're all fascinated by the colour. However, I have to mention the carrot weight. Two... This has got to be the biggest carrot weight offering we have at Jewelry Maker, bar none. Surely, out of our vault. This has to be the king of carrot weight. 2,000... 450 carats of genuine gemstones. And we're taking it under a certain price point, my lovelies. I'm talking about under 30 pounds. I'm gonna give you an idea how many I've got, just, give you, just to give you, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, nine, and twenty. Even counted them in tens. Pretty one, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, six, seven, three, eight, nine, thirty, one, thirty, two, thirty, three. I've got thirty-four there, so they're less than a pound each. He's gonna. He's, he's, I can hear him on his calculator. Oh, so you divide. Oh, sorry. I thought you were gonna give me a price per capital. Could I have a price piece? Because they're so different in size, I'm loath to give a carrot weight because they, they're too diverse. No! 30, 34? 34, I said, <laughs> didn't I? 31, 30, 34! Pardon? Oh, do I not want to know how much you've just taken those down? Yes, I do. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Everybody, excuse me a second. Don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> How have you got to be sales manager? <laughs> do you know I'll do it myself. I'll do, I've got this, I'll do it myself. It's about 80p. It's about 80p. Okay? <laughs> just, just go with that. It's fine. It's close enough. <laughs> oh, somebody help me! <laughs> I bet I've got people messaging in telling me how much they are per, per cabochon. It's for those of you shouting at me through the screen, I apologise. 82 pence a cabochon. <laughs> I bet you're so glad you're coming for this, haven't you, Scott? <laughs> Oh, you, oh, hang on, everybody. Can I give you the classical, the classical excuse of the night? The calculator needs batteries, apparently. You've got to have the award for the best excuse. <laughs> Stop, Scott, we can't cope. Sorry, everybody. 82p for a beautiful multi-shaped, multi-coloured, fabulous array of uh, multi-coloured agates there. 82p. We've already got there in the end. Uh, Norman, well done. Philippa, Ruth, Brian and Angela, Kate, Collector, Nicole, Sandra, Tracy. Don't forget as well, the thing to mention, that is a lot of cabochons. 34 to be exact. And we do not change. Think of the weight of those. We don't up the, uh, the price on the post and packaging. It's standard. That's where that really... Is impressive, I think. Oh, it is. I mean, that's almost a 500 gram letter, isn't it? Yeah. Before you even add all your packaging on. So yeah. if you think about other couriers, what that would cost. Exactly. It's it's fantastic deal. Thank you, sweet pea. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant collection. Vicky, Scott's been there about 30 minutes and Zena hasn't got her hands on him. You're slacking, Zena. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> There's a break coming up, Vicky. <laughs> Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune in this Friday for the launch of Alison Tarry's Easter Egg Designs DVD. Alison will guide you through five different designs, including the netted egg, the floral egg, and the Easter chick egg. You'll also learn a variation of seed beading techniques. To get your copy, tune in this Friday at 10 a.m. I'm very excited. You can watch our Jewelry Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It couldn't be easier to buy from Jewelry Maker with all the information you need right there on screen. From the item code and the product description right down to the price. And whether you're buying at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, what are you waiting for? Simply telephone our free phone number or join us at JewelryMaker.com and start your jewellery making journey today. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. We're about to do a dramatic, naughty deal, aren't we, Scott? And Kev, for those of you that don't know the name Scott, it's not beam me up. Scott is our, are you called our sales manager? Is that your title? Amongst other things. And basically, jack of all trades also keeps the diva presenters in line. <laughs> <Your eyes. laughs> um, so he's just said well you just said to him are you going to do something and he sort of kind of said yes didn't he kind of did kind of did now I don't say it because it's one of those that he thinks he can the system might not let him so until it's in that well I say black and white but it's pink and white isn't it when the price is coming I'm not going to mention it now then what I will tell you is we are taking a brand spanking new strand of Delicious, dazzling black diamonds. Now, we had them on pre-order and 20 have gone already, and you cannot see the price you're paying. So you are about to be bowled over. We have got a good length strand of beautiful black diamonds. 
Um, and we are guaranteed to be taking these under 20 and it is a brand new strand. Now it totals um, eight carats of diamonds. Now when you think about it, it's a bit, we have to rethink about the carat weight with a diamond because when we see these strands and they've got 32 carats and 80 mm -hmm. carats and all the bit, we sort of get a bit blasé. We do, because we see them. Because we see them. Um, but when you think about diamond jewellery and you think about a diamond engagement ring, uh, we usually, if you're lucky, talking half a carat to a carat. Yep. So when you th talk about there being eight times that amount on that strand, that's really impressive. It's very far from insubstantial. Yeah, about as far, as far away as you can get. Mm -hmm. And think about it. Right, now think about your friendship circle. Think about your, the family. Think about anybody that has got diamonds. Do you know anybody in that same friendship circle and your family that own black diamonds? Because they don't, they're not seen very often, are they? No, I have only one piece. I have one bracelet with some Rose Swarovski in a slider bracelet that Mark Smith made me. One black diamond, that's all I own as well. Mm -hmm. And I've been in the trade eight years. Mm -hmm. And my family owned the jewellery business. And I still only have one piece because it was gifted to me. Yep. So they are few and far between. So they're rare. So they're a, talk they're a talking piece. So this is a people stopper. The kind of people that are going to ask you what that is you're wearing. Because most of us, most people, I think, if you lined... Uh, a thousand people up and you ask people had they ever owned or worn a black diamond it's got to be single figures oh i would think surely so. yeah less than think? a percent for sure yeah do you think about mm -hmm. the when we see the oscars and we see the the the, the people on the red carpet mm -hmm. and they're dressed up in their finery and it goes into the magazines how often do you see people saying and so and so was wearing black diamonds quite often it's borrowed jewelry yes yeah, so that has to be taken back like cinderella and the pumpkin <laughs> With four armed guards. Has to be back by midnight, <laughs> yeah. But um, I love black diamonds. And obviously, as well, if you know anybody or you're making birthstone jewellery, you've got to have diamonds in your, in your stash for April. And April is next month's birthstone. It is. Obviously. We're getting there. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask... Now, let me just check the names in my uh, checked out column. I'm going to ask our regulars, like Brian and Angela, who buy... Well, it would appear most days, so thank you very much for your support, Brian and Angela, up there in beautiful Norfolk. Um, the likes of Amanda, all our regular gang are in, don't blame you, Karen, Alex, Jackie, Samantha, Becky, Collectors, Fiona, Collectors, and the list goes on, Sharon, everybody. I think most of us would be absolutely happy to get part with a £20 note and be given, in exchange, a fabulous brand new strand of faceted by Mother Nature, sparkling, sharp, jet black diamonds. Definitely. I would be happy. I'd be very happy. I'd be delighted. Now, we don't just want to make you happy. That would be quite easy. Are we going to go for ecstatic? We're going for ecstatic. We're going for euphoric. Oh, I love That's euphoric. That's what we're doing. We want mm -hmm. to take you to a whole other stratosphere of, well, quite frankly, what, you know that feeling when it's one of the best feelings you've ever experienced in your life and it stays with you for days and weeks afterwards? And you feel like you're going to burst. Yeah, mm -hmm. burst with happiness. Now, imagine you are that helium balloon <laughs> and somebody's approaching you with a pin. That is the feeling we are about to give you. Are you ready? Check out, check out, check out to avoid disappointment. Brand new strand. Sales manager price saving additional to what we were supposed to go to 25 percent saving and it's not even and i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest about this scott it's not a strand that has sat in our vault for months on end and we can't shift it it's brand new strand what was that sorry not sorry it was definitely sorry not sorry and i'm just going to show would you would you mind I'm just going to show Jem, my guest designer, something. What does that say there? It says 1995. That's what that, that's planned. That was the reduced price before the sales manager approached the uh, produce, producer's chair. <laughs> I think it's because he's tired. <laughs> Who cares? 
<laughs> you can have the diamonds for a 25% saving lower on a brand new strand of black diamonds. There, the, there the floodgates have opened. Uh, do be quick, collection, because uh, we didn't have the biggest number, collection W, Fiona, Becky, do check out, Josephine, Darren, Suje, Jackie, ja and my lovely Annie John O'Groats. I uh, nearly called you Jan then, because you were in John O'Groats, huh? And, uh, oh, it's so great to see our regular gang, Suje's in, Rio's in, Bridget, all the regulars, oh gosh, listen to this, Antoinette, collector, Bridget, Jill, Dawn, S, collector, Jane, Christine, Yvonne, I can't keep up with you, Tina, Diane, gosh, you can see how busy we are, uh, Lorraine, Susan, Lisa, oh gosh, Teresa, Sharon, Samantha, I can't keep up with you. I cannot read any more names out. Jet Black Diamonds. Eight carats of Jet Black Diamonds. Do you know as well? Do you know what the Italians think? Do you know what the Italians think? If you wear black diamonds, it makes it apparently a more harmonious marriage. Well, I never knew that. Yeah, that's what the Italians think. Not stupid, are they? <laughs> Can you imagine saying to your husband or wife, you'll make me much happier in our married life if you buy me black diamonds? They're not daft, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd be a lot happier if I was <laughs> in a relationship with black diamonds. But that aside, yes. there is nothing that this strand of gemstones won't go with. Nothing. That's a very good point. Because it's, you know, we say that about black spinel, don't we? We do. But this is uh, something a little this bit special. This is a little bit more special. The black diamond. Leah, do you own black diamonds? No, Leah doesn't. You have one black diamond, Jim. I have, have one black diamond. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. That's all I possess. If I were at home, if you were at home, would you buy that strand, honestly? Three or four times over, yes, I would. Would you? Yep, and I'd be popping it with my Akoya pearls. I'd <gasps> be popping it with Ooh, nice. amber. Amber, I think, would be good with black diamonds, definitely. Peridot. Yep. Those lemon quartz we had earlier, I'd even stretch to that. Except that fourteen ninety five. Mm -hmm. That is, to me, in the in the grand scheme of actually buying diamonds, black diamonds, it's almost dare I say a no brainer. I, I, I do agree because you can use these to punctuate your other gemstones. So, as you were saying, one of the larger pieces, like the lemon quartz, one of tiny, the the, the shallowest end of the strand there on either side, be the perfect punctuation for that gemstone. I'm going to have to share something with you. I don't know whether I should. Excuse me, 80 have gone and we didn't have a huge number, so do be quick. What I will say is, and this is going to right blow your mind. <laughs> I went to a supermarket yesterday. I grant you it was an organic, 70% dark chocolate sizable Easter egg that I bought for my stepfather, 14 99 so it was a big egg. It was a big egg. less, though. It was a big egg. <laughs> but it was a hollow chocolate Easter egg. Was a posh one, I grant you. Well, you know, like the... I would say... Well, it's, well I wouldn't say... You know, bigger than the... Right, here's another thing. They had... A, to, right, here... Can I show you this? I need, to, I need to show you. Right. There were two eggs with nothing in. No truffles, no nothing, right? That big. Dark, organic, 70%. The nice chocolate one. Two of them for a tenner. That's my kind of chocolate. Yeah, but two Easter eggs for a tenner. We've just given you jet black diamonds, eight carrots for fourteen ninety five. What's that in a restaurant? Could you buy a bottle of wine in a restaurant for fourteen ninety five? Can you is like? You could probably pay more corkage than yeah. in, in some places. Can you send a bouquet of flowers online for fourteen ninety five? No. Can you is like? That's a bouquet in a supermarket. I'm just saying. <laughs> You've got a bit bonkers there, Scott, and we love you for it. See, we, for no, me, don't apologise. Scott, we're not moaning, we're happy. Oh, no, we are very happy. We're very happy. That, for me, is more than plenty for a bracelet. And would I like yep. to own a bracelet made of black diamonds? Yeah, I really, really would. I really would. Right. I am a... I would class about a six-inch bracelet. That fits me without a, without a clasp, darlings. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. It looks a wrist black size. diamond bracelet yep. for 50. Pounds. We only have, I've got to tell you my loves, 30 left. Samantha, Deirdre, Violet, Heather, Joe, Rio and Sue J. Fiona Collector. Um, I would urge speed now. Get your, get, your, get your roller skates on. Jump on that skateboard. Otherwise you're going to get left behind. I'm so sorry. I've got to say, that is, I think, the best deal on Black Diamonds I've ever seen. It is. Ever. Yep, yep. yep. Scott, if I didn't love you before... Which I did. <laughs> oh. 
I'm, you've made me euphoric. Are you hiding behind enjoyed? the camera? Have you seen hiding behind the computer then? He's hiding. <laughs> Jay, Zena, I'd rather have the diamonds than a fattening chocolate egg. Absolutely, yes. I'm going to, uh, oi, put that message back in. <laughs> he whipped it out, didn't he? They're not the okie cokey. Diamonds will last a lot longer and don't make you fat. They don't. You can whip it out now, because I've done it. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, he's like the okie cokey. In, out, in, out. Take the graphics off. It's <laughs> 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 been right on the giggles you have tonight, have you? <coughs> Thank you, sweetie. You're very kind. Thank you. Oh, I it's love lovely. it. It's been beautiful. Lovely. Well done, everybody. They're about to sell out. We're in single figures now. All right, then. Oh, with this kit, with this kit. I know, so much of the yes. Mm -hmm. um, no brainer. Absolute best deal on black diamonds I have ever seen to date. Right then. Ooh, hello. Right, let's do the pearls first. Let's take the steps to heaven off. <laughs> Why are you so excited? Imagine these. I'm just going to show those black diamonds with those. Mm -hmm. the, the beautiful um, silver pearls. With that, look at that. <whistles> They're a bit lush, aren't they? Do you like that? That's lovely, isn't it? Glorious. I was like, just how could you say no to that? You just wouldn't. Well, you wouldn't dare. No. 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 Lovely. Right then. Um, so if I just get my information to this kitarata, which I did have somewhere. There they are. Right then, so I have got silver freshwater cultured pearls, full 38 centimetre strands, 6 to 7 mil. And then the good news is, we've given you a matching size in the beautiful black freshwater cultured pearl. Now, I like that, the fact that we've given you two sizes the same. I enjoy that. It's really lovely to work with because yeah. it means you can just intersperse them. I think in one of the bangles, yeah. it's just silver and then a black pearl, then yeah. a silver pearl. And because they, they're of similar dimension, yeah. they just really it's work. Really lovely. So that is 76 centimetres guaranteed there of beautiful, beautiful silver, well, silver and, and the black pearl because there's 38 centimetre strand, 38 centimetre strand there as well. Now I'm also going to give you, oh my word. I know. You lucky madam. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Oh, that recording is insane. <sighs> oh, hello. Now that is referred to as the black diamond tone of Swarovski. It isn't actually a black diamond. Oh gosh, I wish it was. <laughs> but it is a 30 by 20 mil beautiful pear shape. We were talking about Sarah Lund, Sarah Loon earlier, and you do have that foil lined back. So again, Normally, if you, put a, if you had a closed uh, sort of foil line back there on a gemstone, the light would be trapped and it wouldn't be able to get through. You wouldn't get any of that sparkle. That's the clever aspect of um, Swarovski. Despite that foil line back, you still get all that brilliance and all that fantastic faceting and sparkling. And those are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Massive. We're going to give you the, um, the corresponding beautiful um, Swarovski bicones as well. One in the jet hematite, both in the 4 mil and also in the black diamond colour. So if I just show you those as well. It's a really well thought out kit, this. It is, everything just works beautifully. Yeah. So you get 48 of the four mil in the jet hematite, which is those ones there. Beautiful, again, pop those are the black diamond. Oh, hello. Just thought I'd throw those over the desk for you. And those are the black diamond. And the black diamond have also have got these beautiful sort of olive green tones to them, haven't they? They do have an undercurrent, lovely undercurrent. of colour. It's yeah. lovely. Now then, to attach these all together, you need some form of thread or wire, don't you? So we're going to give you two variations. As we've got Gem, and she's a tad partial to the wire, is our lovely Gem, aren't you, lovely girl? Do live, eat, sleep and breathe my wire. You do. So we're going to give you some silver plated, <laughs> what well, she does, she, 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 she literally, oh, and it's called Izzy Wednesday's Bite. <laughs> oh, I like that one. So we've got 0.8 mil, so um, great for wire writing as well, great for it a bit is. of structure. Yep. Yeah. And, ooh, sultry. Sultry, 0.4 mil of the artistic black wire. Sexy. Now, it says they're uh, 30 yards or 27.43 metres, if we're going to be exact. Oh, yes, you might as well be. Oh, you might as, might as well, mightn't you? Uh, yeah, so the artistic wire, now you do get in the artistic wire 
um, as we said, 27.43 metres and 10 metres in the silver plated wire. So you get both of those. You get this magnificent, fabulous Swarovski, which I, I think it was, if it, I mean, that could make the lovely body of a beautiful spider, couldn't it? It certainly could. Mm. If you wanted to make a spider design. Wouldn't fancy meeting that spider, if I'm honest, but um, <laughs> you could. Also, the black pearls, the silver pearls. Oh, my, I do like that. I do like that. Is that Incy? I think so. Incy Wincy. I think he's Incy, yeah. That's a, a glitter bug, the spider. Ooh, is there such a thing as a glitter bug? I don't Please know, tell me there, there is. should Please, be. There should be, shouldn't there? Some shield bugs are really very beautiful. Oh, there should be. Um, <laughs> oh, too long. You know, that's my favourite, I think. He's my comedy spider. I like him. <laughs> he is ace. Leah thought maybe he was a jelly spider. Half yeah. jellyfish, half spider. Jelly spider, spider. yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so then, let's just recap there. We've got 49 Swarovski. No, we haven't. We're talking absolute rot. You've got 97 Swarovski. Because there's 48 in each of the of the um of the four mil bicos. There's 48 in each of those. 48, 48, that's 96. And then that whopper. Oops, a daisy. Then that whopper. I've got a spider. Spiders can tell the time, you know. Can they? Well, I've got a spider that comes out of my fireplace every night between eight, eight o'clock at night and ten past eight. Every night. And How does a circuit strange. in the room and goes back in. Well, you must be able to cut tell the time. How else is, you know? <laughs> no, my spider can tell the time. Just saying. Um, now then. I don't care what you say. He tells the time. One, one, when he gets, the, when the clock goes back, I don't know what's going on. Well, we'll see, won't we? Then we'll know if he tells the time. A couple more weeks uh, and uh, then uh, we uh, can. Uh, week on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven components divided by. Oh, I don't ask Scott, do I, to do any calculations. <laughs> Would you, once you've put some more batteries in the calculator, could you divide 27.95 by 7 components, please, darling, in the kit? £3.98 for a strand of pearls. £3.98 for a Swarovski, like that. Help yourselves, Incy Wincy. You know, Scott. Scott, I love you dearly. I really do. And do you know what I love about you? I love your. It, do you think? Know oh, Scott, my sales manager, has just got the most lovely outlook on life, and I wish I could grab some of it. Twenty-seven ninety-five. Mandy in Liverpool. Mandy. Mandy's got them. Have you, Mandy? Now, obviously, we're having a bug's life today. Don't ask me why. <laughs> you do not have to feel obliged to do, uh, make any designs with spiders. You don't. Unless you want to. Uh, have loved watching my two favourite ladies tonight. Mm. I've just finished my first ever attempt at a super duo piece, have you? Yay! Yay! Well done, Mand. What you made, Mand? What you made, what you made, what you made? What sort of design? What, what, what? Tell us. Did you get, some, did you get those super duo deals earlier? Did you? Well, I think quite possibly Zina would like you to text sorry, him and a let bit, us was know. Sorry, was that a bit... Was I a bit... Was I? No, I don't think it was aggressive, was I? it was just keen. Keen. Sorry. Oh, it's because I'm excited. <laughs> it's exciting, not aggressive. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it doesn't like to just, be aggressive. No, not aggressive, just keen. It's all good. I was a bit aggressive with me rake when I scarified me lawn on Tuesday. D did you, you did what now? Mm. You popped up air holes in it. Well, well when I was raking all the moss out, because you... Oh, okay. I checked, it's called scarifying. Well, you learn something new every day. And I'm going to buy some moss killer tomorrow. Ha -ha. Ah, poor moss. Well, got to go. Uh, right then, should we do a demo? Those of you in English, a demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Can do, if you like, madame. Well, I wouldn't mind, yes. Okay. That'd be lovely if you wouldn't mind, yes, please. But we could have a look at the type of technique used in creating this little chap here. Okay. Is that the right angle for you, darling, or do you need it moved? Okay. 
I can twist that. Oh, no, that's that quite good, there. actually, that angle, yeah. I think, Gem. So really just go. Wee. That was fun. I amused myself endlessly. <laughs> So which bit are you going to teach us? Well, if we have a look at how to capture the spider's body and um, make a set of legs to go underneath. Okay. Now, the set of legs are going to be multi-purpose, so you could use them on any beetle or, or spider-type design. But obviously, it's a really beautiful kit, and if you wanted to set them traditionally, then the same techniques can be used without making it look all arachnid. Arachnoid? Oh, don't, because it's going right through me. What, the word? I'm so Just sorry. Just to do with the spider. Okay, you sit tight, Patrick. It's yeah. going to be fine. Leave it over there. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to work with the 0.8 millimetre silver plated wire to create the body okay. and to wrap the large Swarovski into position. And uh, I will show you how you can create an aperture to attach either a pearl okay. or one of these Swarovski bicones as a head if you want. Okay. Uh, and then I will also show you how to create the legs and from there on in it's just a case of tying it together. Now again it is a beginner's level Great. Uh, demonstration. I try to make the things that I bring to Jewellery Maker as accessible as possible. Fabulous. Suitable for anybody to have a go. Okay. okay. Great. So the first thing that we would do is just have a bit of a look at our beautiful drop shape in the black diamond Swarovski colour. And we're just going to kind of familiarise ourselves with the shape and the size of how we're going to work with that. Now this particular spider roux I've made with the pointy end as his bottom and the rounded end as his that works really well actually yeah so obviously you can sort of play around with that design and as i say it doesn't have to be spiders that you use these techniques for it can be just yeah. pendant or other figurative work okay so i'm going to grab my first section of 0.8 millimeter wire and there's probably around about 12 inches or so of the 0.8 and i'm just going to run that between thumb and forefinger a couple of times just to give it a little bit more strength but equally to warm it and allow it to really work with us so we're going to work with the point as our centre. Okay. So what we need to do is find the approximate centre of that wire, pop in with some fairly sharp tipped pliers. These are my very traditional bent chain nose pliers. And I'm going to pop that point in to begin with. Now we just need to make sure that that is going to sit around the outside. It doesn't need to be exactly the same, but it needs to give us a little bit of breathing room because we're going to want to add further layers of 0.8 between the Swarovski crystal and the frame we're about to make. There are a couple of ways that you can generate the curvature needed to wrap around the dome section of the Swarovski. You can either use your ring mantle or other okay. round form, or because you've pre-warmed your wire, let me just turn that through 90 degrees. You can kind of get the wire to curve just by drawing from the far end of that strand. So we're going to have a look at doing that in both directions. If it's easier for you to kind of control, then do flip it over. And you can see it's relatively easy to kind of create the right kind of shape. Now it's a little bit narrow at the point end, so we just kind of open that up a little bit, draw those tails over the top, and we're just going to see if we'd still be able to fit our crystal within the confines of the shape we've made. That looks pretty good to me. So once we're happy with that shape, if you wanted to, you could very gently hammer that to give you a little higher rigidity in your 0.8mm gauge. What I'm going to do is pop in with my round nose pliers at that junction, hold that into position, and then I'm just going to offer the crystal up again to make sure that that size is still good for me. And then I'm going to make space for the head of our bug. Now it's going to um, kind of cross that around the outside. It's, it's kind of difficult to do that without obscuring your view. So you can see we've made a loop. The wire that's coming up towards the top has gone over the top. And the one that is looped around is coming underneath. In this way, those two are interconnected. Oh, clever. So that means they don't sort of come undone while you're trying to yeah. fit everything together. So just before you move on, just check that everything's still going to fit in there and you've still got plenty of excess to work with if you are making this into a pendant or different kind of figurative piece. Okay. So what I would do is just cut those short and turn them into kind of feely antennas if we were going to do another spider. I'm just going to leave them there for now and just kind of ignore them. The next thing that we're going to do is find a way to get that Swarovski to sit inside the frame securely but in a way that is also attractive. So if I pop the crystal out of position 
and just move our existing frame to one side. I'm going to bring in a piece and show you what it is we're going to work towards creating now. So that looks a little bit complicated at the moment, but it really isn't. So if I just draw that up into position and show you how that crystal slides into the nest we've created for it, that's the next stage of what we're looking to do. So I'm going to pop my crystal back out for now and find myself another section of 0.8 millimeter gauge wire. Okay, so I have another section cut ready, but I didn't know if you wanted to... I could, I'm just thinking about an alternative to the, to the I, black I, diamond I, adoring, version. Adoring, adoring yeah, those. Yeah, I was just thinking, because this is a great shape. We've got these as well, I don't have very many. I'll show you both, both sides, because one's more mirrored than the other. Crystal Aurora Borealis, and I'm just thinking, if you fancied an alternative shape to the pear drop that we had in the Swarovski in the kit, or you mm -hmm. can't stretch to the kit, because not everybody can, um, then you could treat yourself to these, because you might already have some wire. These are the Swarovski decent sized ovals as well. Again, beautiful pendants. Um, that's, the, that's the sort of design uh, with the flashes of the gold that, that, that you would uh, tend to set it. But some people like to set it on the more mirrored version uh, or mirrored view rather and you'll get you can see that the drill hole is straight through the center where that line is there look and that, so they're drilled for you already they're 22 mil drops 16 mil at the widest part and that would be a lovely body to a lot of um, bugs as we've got with our theme today they would be the most amazing uh shield bugs but yeah. also scarab beetles scarab beetles like in the mummy <laughs> have you seen the new one I haven't actually, because no, it's Tom Cruise. Neither. Well, I'm sorry, it's Brendan Fraser for me. <laughs> Five ninety-five. I won't be drawn on that, I'm afraid. I'm not at all. I love Tom Cruise, but not as the mummy. Nice size drill hole aperture as we're to. Oops, a Daisy, come back here, you monkey. Fasty. Uh, good news is those. If I showed you that on its own, and you halve the price, we're talking about two pounds ninety-eight for a Swarovski like that drilled for you. I mean, imagine those are drop earrings. Oh, it's just the first thing that went through my head actually yeah. is to Absolutely. put drop earrings. And you don't have to overcomplicate them no. because the crystal is going to do that work for you. Exactly. Very, very, very popular. They do get both. That's the good news. I just thought it'd be nice to give you an alternative to the black diamond mm -hmm. Swarovski in the kit if you've managed to get the kit. Um, or you can't stretch the kit and you're thinking, well, actually, I'd love to try this design that Jen's doing. I've got the wire. Just need a Swarovski. 5 95 for both. Right. So what you would do if you were going to use that as the body in, in this instance, instead of making that V point at the bottom, you'd have a, a, a more yeah. rounded shape okay. and then you would create an equal and opposite at the top, yeah. for which you would probably use your ring mandrel just to get that lovely curvature. Okay. So as an alternative. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. So I have another length around about 8 inches or so of the 0.8mm gauge okay. silver plated wire. You could, if you prefer, use the black wire, the artistic 0.4mm gauge for this procedure. But I actually quite like seeing, and sorry this is a bit fingerprinty, I'll clean it before I set it. I like seeing the silver going over the surface of yeah, the black diamond trust. colour. Yeah. That's really pretty. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is find the approximate centre and put quite a nice deep V again into this. So it's a little bit repetitive, but we're not going to overly worry about that. And we're going to open this up slightly, flip that up the other way, look where we want to set it to create this figure. If I pop them both into position, you'll see how they're going to come together. So you want it to sit over the frame, high up enough so that it will stop our crystal from coming out of its position within that framework. So I'm going to estimate that we're looking to put a bend in the wire around about here, mm -hmm. and that bend is going to come up and behind the frame and cross over like the Scottish flag, I want to say. Have I said the wrong flag? The Scottish flag goes on the diagonal oh, like that, no I think. Idea. Mm. Well, very good it's really on matter. Flags. It's going to cross over. So I'm just going to pop that one out of the way. I'm going to pop my crystal out of the way so I don't scratch it in any uh, particular way with my tooling. So I've got some flat pliers now, which I'm just going to make sure it's even in its position. Okay. And then if I draw this up upright, I'm going to push back and push back. And I will show you that on camera two as well. So you can see I've taken my V and from the V it comes backwards. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> so what we're going to do is extend the curvature that we've just created on that framework. Yep. And I'm going to use my trusty pliers for this. So I'm going to grip onto that bend and just draw up in a straight line for the moment on both sides. So that that comes up at an angle. So you can see on the overhead there that we've got that V coming up the center and then it comes backwards and behind. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop that now so it nestles over the framework and you can see how this is starting to build up yeah. and how it's all coming together. Now this is the section where we'll be very glad that we preconditioned our wire with a bit of warmth and if you feel that that hasn't occurred you've still got the opportunity to do that now so just a couple of times between thumb and forefinger to warm that through because the next thing we're going to do is flip those side to side Pop that back into the frame. Whoops, a daisy. That's gone out of control for a second. I'm going to draw that down and make that cross more extreme so that we know when we pop our black diamond colour Swarovski into position, there is support at the rear of the design as well. So the next section that we would move on to yep. is taking both of these tails equally around the framework. So to support this, you can flatten down that V if you need to, so that that sits flush against the frame. Going to support that quite comfortably, quite strongly, put a bend in that tail and draw it all the way around the frame. And then I would do the exact same thing on the other side and pull it across the front. And what you will end up with is this kind of framework. Okay. So what you would do to kind of finish off securing your Swarovski is pop the crystal into the basket, flip it over, and then in exactly the same way as we've just done, draw one of those tails through. You can see the framework there, and it's just a case of getting that tail to pass between the framework and the crystal. Once you've got a little section coming through, you can use tooling if you prefer to just bring that in. And that's all you would need to do to create the body section of your spider or your just rat's yep. pendant if you prefer. So you would just kind of draw that into position with your pliers if you can, taking care not to score the surface of the crystal and then trim off when you're done. So what I'll do is I'll just grab the spider from the bust if I may and drop that into position. I've done a slight... It's all right. <laughs> I'll shield you. <laughs> Look, I'm shielding. You can't see him. And this one... That's no, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn. Did we name this one? Because I, I, I think he's an... I'm feeling Albert. He's got a slightly different way of holding the crystal into the framework, but it's exactly the same technique. The wire comes across the front of the crystal. You flip him over. It goes around the back of the crystal and back to the front side again. Now if I show you very briefly how to create the legs and tie the legs together, it's then just a case of assembling your very own Albert. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not touching it. <laughs> do you not want to wear it? I don't, it? I really don't like I'm you. I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to do that. <laughs> Just... <laughs> it's fine. Whoever came up with this theme today, I'm gonna have words with you tomorrow. <laughs> It's the third time I've done spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I just show you? What are you going to do? Do it quick. <laughs> I don't want you to be uncomfortable. That's <laughs> fine. Right, OK. So can I borrow your blackboard for a second, Yes, of course you can, can my gorgeous lady. See, there you go. That's a little bit better. Can I just mention while Gemma's... Well, Gem, Gemma. While Gemma's getting ready, I have 27 of the diamonds left. I had 180. Whoosh. Oh yeah, whoosh. And whoever wasn't watching earlier, you have joined us at the perfect time. We have the sales manager in the producer's chair. We were due to take the diamonds to 1995. He's had a moment of madness and he's dropped them for a further 25% on rare black diamonds. So uh, they're heat treated. That's the H in the brackets at the bottom to draw out that black of the diamond. Uh, so they've got a little bit of heat treatment only. Other than, other than that, they're absolutely natural. Beautiful black diamonds. Eight carats of black diamonds faceted by mother nature should have been 1995 i've got sorry 24 remaining now and it is going to sell out there is no question 180 there were 100, over 150 have now gone and that is the last chance and that is the naughtiest lowest most bizarre price on black diamonds it's a brand new strand as well naughtiest price all of us collectively in the studio have ever seen on black diamonds so mm -hmm. we'd like to thank our sales manager scott thank you darling you absolute diamond <laughs> geezer 
Uh, I see, see what you did there. there. Bye. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, grab those, oh, grab those, grab those. Because I tell you now, if there's any of those left, we're having them. Oh, most definitely. So you come first. We're going to be grabbing them in about 15, 20 minutes, so do be quick. All right, good luck. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Now, what I tend to do when I'm making the legs is to make them symmetrical, so front and back are the same. Now, that's not true in many of your arachnid species. So if you wanted to recreate something that is explicitly <laughs> to a design, then do your research, have a look at how they occur. Yeah, it makes it more authentic, doesn't it? I think it does make it more authentic, but we've gone for quite stylized spider roos today, so it's all good. Basically, what we need to do is to create two sets of legs. And what I can do, if you like, is ask Leah if she wouldn't mind just taking a photograph of these legs and popping them onto the, to the uh, Jewelry Maker Facebook page a bit later on. Um, because then you'll be able to see yeah, them exactly brilliant. as they are now. What I tend to do is work with two lengths of wire to create that symmetry. So I would use two lengths of slightly longer wire to create the outer legs and then two lengths of slightly shorter wire to create the inner legs. But I'm just going to show you the basic technique now. If I pop those over to one side, what I tend to do is use a thicker set of pliers to create this section. You can yep. see the dimension of the plier here and then a thinner set of pliers to create the inner dimension here and then just by eye try to create an element of symmetry. You could if you wanted to draw a single section and then copy that with your wire if you prefer. But the general technique is to bundle your two lengths of wire together, generate that center point and then we're going to just curve out, curve out, find a point which makes us happy yep. and then put a little bend coming in. Mm -hmm. A little bend on the other side, which I'm now completely opposite-handed to usual. This probably won't go well. There we go. Really? And then just kind of trim them down, and then you can be as artistic as you like with those legs. Once you've got the second set of legs made with the thinner centre section, you will then be able to wire everything together and it's just a case i'm not going to show you because i want you to see these legs in this format it's a case of just wrapping them around whilst you're wrapping and i would use the 0.4 millimeter gauge artistic wire in the black colorway just keeping those flat and wrapping squeeze the wrap wrap again squeeze and you will get an element of tension and you'll end up with a leg section which you can use in any other design and then you can sit your uh, completed wrapped crystal section over the top there's plenty of places within you'll find crosses of wire that you can connect it all together and I, I will say as I quite often I'm known for saying don't be afraid of trying this because it's a case of wrapping bits of wire together as neatly as possible and if you take your time you can absolutely do it thank you lovely Zina's giving me a vaguely terrified, <laughs> thank you, but please don't ever do that to me again kind of look. I'm not Hold the on. biggest fan of spiders, I'll be. No, no, don't be like, it's fine, it's fine. No. Very, it's, it's, it's all it's Albert's all facing the other way now. <laughs> no, don't, because everybody probably wants to see it. <laughs> it just, it goes right. It, it, some people are like, Whoa. I'm like that with cockroaches. Whoa, just... Sure is. My friends have a pet tarantula as well, and I go in that room, and the, 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 she's got snakes, tarantula. I just, oh, I can't. See, I like tarantulas. It's house spiders I can't deal with. They try, what, I went in there the other day, they tried to, they said, when we go away, Mama, will you feed the animals? I went, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then it gets out this big pot. I went, no, no. <laughs> no, no. My friend oh. asked me to look after her oh, bearded the dragon. Oh, I'm all right with them. Do you yeah. want one of them as well? I can feed that. I'm all right with that. I said, was it a fruit diet? And she said, no, it needs other things as well. I'm like, yeah. no. Yeah, I can, no. I can cope with that. <laughs> I can cope with the bearded dragon. I can cope with the pug. <laughs> I like the bearded dragon. Mm. I hold the beardy, the beardy all the time. Just can't feed it. Now then, are there any diamonds left, darling? <gasps> Single... Now listen, I'm a bit worried. Now me lovely friend, Nikki and Vian is there. Nikki, Gail, Jill, Caroline, Caroline. Lynette, Violet, Joe, Rio, Anne, Sue J. You know the score. Now I don't need to. I don't need to preach to these lovely ladies. They know. Re you know Sue J. Anne. You know the score. That's without the telephone people. What is that? A carrot, Scott? What's fourteen ninety five back by don't eight keep carrots? No, that's, you know that's how a... he stresses. The calculator batteries aren't working apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Great sparkle in these. I look. forgot to do it in my head. 
Are you serious? What? One pound eighty a carrot. One pound eighty a carrot. Ah. Uh, One pound. <laughs> the oh, black diamonds. Oh my word! <laughs> this date is going to go down in history. Why are we? Fifteenth of March. It is the fifteenth of March. Fifteenth. It's Deb's March. birthday as well. Pardon? It's Deb's birthday as well. Oh, sorry. You're right. Deb Rudge. She won't be watching. She'll, well, up. I hope you're having a lovely evening. Do you know what she's known as now in the industry? No. After a Friday no, night out? No, 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 that's not going on air. She threw me to the floor. She, in the snow. She, she did. She didn't slip. She threw me over. And then she got, when that was your fault. Oh, what? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she's lovely. Happy birthday, guest designer Deb Rudge, my darling. Happy birthday. Right, we are down to no single figures. I'm talking seven left and I'm way, way way over allocated so good luck good luck good luck good luck you can have a little play with them thank you for Hello. albert the itsy wincy spider demo mm -hmm. oh. uh star bye <laughs> I think that was, wasn't that earlier. Oh, we found them, we found them, we found them, we found them, we found them. We found them. Sorry. <laughs> Cut the wrong ones. <laughs> so then, faceted rondelle. Faceted, would you think about with the... Uh, I would. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Actually, that is so you, Gem uh, Hawks. Yeah. That's, That's like got you written colours. all over it. Yep. Oh my word. Do you know, I wouldn't, until, you threw, until you sort of slid those towards me, I wouldn't have put the black diamonds with the amethyst. Oh, I can't think of anything more glorious. Black and purple together. It's like my wardrobe for the last 30 years. <laughs> it is actually, isn't it? <laughs> These are wonderful Zambian amethyst. I mean, we proved, didn't we, that they went fantastic with the period that we did earlier. That's 7 95 period. If you go to the jewelrymaker.com website, there might just be a few left. Go to the jewelrymaker.com website, click at the top of the page, it says today's products. Uh, scroll down, and you might just find that strand of peridot that went to 7 95 earlier, and they go great with these. They really do. They would work they really perfectly. Would. So, fantastic Zambian amethyst with that gorgeous saturation. Uh, a generous 30 centimetre strand. Striking hue, isn't it? Absolutely. Big carrot weight, tiny price point. So beautiful with pearls as well. It's not, not something that would immediately spring to mind, but maybe with the silver pearls from the kit. Oh! It'd be something a bit different, wouldn't it? But nice with your idea. White pearls as Mrs. well. Mrs. Very nice idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, or again, I know I'm saying the obvious, but going with the citrine, going with the lemon quartz from Perfect. earlier, because yeah. obviously Mother Nature blended yellow and purple in mm -hmm. amatrine. So, quite frankly, she's she's she she knows best. Oh, doesn't totally. she? She yes. does. She knows best. What did we describe uh, am uh, amethyst as earlier? Nature's bliss. We did, didn't mm. we? We did. We like that description. So uh, glorious, natural, genuine amethyst from Zambia. Just fabulous, isn't it? Most regal colour. Right then, do you fancy a great big whopping long strand of the oldest gemstone of all time? It's just the one I was looking at, actually. Maybe it was like a like a mind suggestion <laughs> trick. Yeah, Z zircon in that length. Give us a tassel. Gives a tassel, she says. Gives a tassel. Look at that! That's not bad, is it? I separated at birth, I reckon. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Honestly, makes you wonder why we're not on the BBC, doesn't it? Look at that! that. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. They'd have to put a little warning flag up. Oh. <laughs> so then, the Zircon. 
Zircon, um, I'm, I'm going to disagree with this size, this person we have in the team again. They're not small, by any stretch of the imagination. Very sizeable nuggets, actually, of Zircon. And this is one of my favourite colours, that sort of sherry tone. Yeah, almost sort of hedging towards the Imperial, a bit of champagne, yeah. a bit of cognac yeah. in places. The sarite tones in there. Mm. But yeah, going towards the Imperial, without, without question. It's a bit spicy, a bit cinnamony. Oh, a little bit of cinnamon as yeah, well. Yeah, a bit of cinnamon mm. mixed into the zircon nuggets there. Sounds bit like a bit of spice. cocktail. Yeah. You're back to cocktails again. Sorry. Aren't you? <laughs> so, we have 85 centimetres. That is rather generous, I think you'll it agree. It is. Yeah. 85 centimetres of zircon. Now, please, oh, it does, it does upset me when people get confused with zircon with cubic zirconia because zircon is a genuine gemstone, whereas cubic zirconia is um, lab-created. And this is the ultimate gemstone. So this is the godfather. Yeah, the general, I've never thought about it like that. What's the highest position? Is it the general? Field marshal. Something like is that. Is that higher than a general? Or is it Rear Admiral? Oh. Oh. I'm never sure about the Rear Admiral. <laughs> I just like saying <laughs> Rear Admiral. I'm sorry. <laughs> that and furry eyeballs. Oh, I tell you what, we've gone to the off the scale highest position possible of the Rear Admiral stroke general. Are we going to give it for a... What's the lowest? Private scrub. Private scrub. Mm, At the so. That's the price point, twelve ninety five. This is eighty five centimeters. Sorry to anybody that we've offended in the armed forces, and we've got all the positions wrong. I am so sorry about our ignorance. I do apologise. We we just don't know. We're very sorry. <laughs> I admire anybody in the services. Oh gosh, yes. I admire. Um, I went to join the Marines when I was seven. I did. What did they say? They said, we don't take women. Ah, oh, I was seven. Made my mum take me to the Royal Marines office. <laughs> 40 years ago. I want to be a Marine! <laughs> Don't have ladies, out you go. <laughs> That's why I want to be a Marine! <laughs> I can actually totally see that, to be fair. <laughs> I really wanted to be a Marine. I was desperate, <laughs> seven years old. Made my mum take me all the way into the centre of town. Because where the pavilions are and where the ramp is in, Bur in the centre of Birmingham, there used to be the army, the navy, the Marines. There was offices for all of them okay. along the stretch. And uh, I'd made a take me to everyone, but I was desperate to be a Marine. But no, I wasn't How like wonderful. That. Anyway, Good news is, I do not need to encourage any one of you to check out because you're all like, yep, in my basket, check out, in my basket, check out. Because <laughs> you can't say no, can you? The sherry tones of Zircon. They are entrancing. They're beautiful. And oh, God, oh, hello, later. Entrancing. Look at them when they're twisted together. I mean, those as a Kumahimo design would look terribly posh. They would look adorable. They? they would look adorable. Mm. Oh, hang on. Could you just... Twist in the old cheeky fourteen ninety five <laughs> black diamonds and say that today on the show mm. you've got the last single few chances. Thank you, sweetheart, mm -hmm. to own the black diamond. Billions of years of history, not quite the billions of years of the zircon. Four point six billion years. The black diamond's only about three billion, you know, but not bad. It's a, it's a whippersnapper by comparison. Whippersnapper, a mere youth, <laughs> a teenager. Um, but yeah, both of those today, an 85 centimetre strand of the Godfather, the General, the Field Marshal, the Rear Admiral, we're not quite sure which, if somebody wants to help us out, please do, <laughs> and the Black Diamond, for both those strands today, under 30. Oh no, bonkers. Um, the only thing is, if you do want those Black Diamonds, we have popped the uh, strand on the bottom of the screen for you. Could you give us an exact number that are left, please? Four. Oh. <laughs> Four left. Enjoy. Fifteen in baskets. Lowest price, certainly, that any of us here on the team have ever seen a brand new strand of black diamonds. Well, in fact, any strand of black diamonds, whether they're new, old, or indifferent. But this is a brand new strand of eight carats of black diamond. And it's, we had 180, 176 have gone. 30 day money back guarantee. Mind you, he's going to send a strand of black diamonds, eight carats back at uh, fourteen ninety-five. You Don't wouldn't, think would I you? Am. I'm just going to be making stacker <laughs> yeah. bracelets now. Absolutely. I mean, a black, you know, a black spinel stacker bracelet is one thing, but black diamonds. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. Right, should we squeeze another one in for you? <gasps> shall we? Shall we? Let's. 
Yeah. I'm excited to see yeah. what you choose. Okay, no, I'll tell you what, you can choose. What well, any, any, yeah. any. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, and the lamp around, please. No, I, did. I should have guessed, shouldn't I? You could have just reached over. I could have just. I you know, I could have picked. If, if, if she just said pick one, I'm going to pick. It would have been the Labrador. Pardon? It's a beautiful. I, I, I'm in our Labrador. You wear Labrador every day. Mm hmm. She never takes it off. I don't. And look at. Now, I'm just going to turn that one into the light. Every millimetre of that surface is ablaze. Then I'm going to turn this one into the light. Hello. Hello. Isn't it wonderful that the same gemstone can give that beautiful golden teal mm. and then it can give that beautiful pure blue, fairy tale blue. And I'm just turning each one into the light. Oh, you've got your sunset tones, yeah, peacock, baby. velvet blues. Yeah. She wore blue velvet. Wow. Da 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 I can't remember any more than anyway, that. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, that's all we've got. <laughs> so, yeah, every one of these is superb. You're so glad you came back in now for that little serenade, aren't you, Scott? <laughs> Yay! Um, <laughs> so, I mean, even the smallest one, look. We're going naughty. Even that smallest one is a blaze. We're going to go out with a bang. Oh, yeah. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on that strand. For six ninety-five. Now, surely we want to make those into fabulous pendants. I would make everyone in, into yeah. a pendant. Yeah. I would faux bezel set some of them. I would make some with little prong settings. They are amazing. I'd try them with different coloured wires as well. And flip them over. Have a little look which, which side you want to set as the sort of front and the back. Because they're quite different, actually, aren't they, when you see them? They really can be. Yeah. And, and sometimes you sort of trick yourself into thinking, is that the same one? <gasps> Just had a thought. Dun, dun, dun! You could go to the central ones, have the pendant. Uh-huh. Take the extra one from the outside in, make the matching earrings in a slightly smaller size. Perfect. Woohoo! Um, proving very popular, that strand. At, uh, ridiculous, if you don't mind me saying, £6.95. Not that I want to question the sales manager. <laughs> it's Madagascan as well. Yes. Happy days. Yeah, happy days. And every single one of those is superb. They're, they're alive, aren't they? They yes. really are alive really with are. the northern lights. Or the fire stone. The fire. The fire stone. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just like you, Scott. It's all right, darling. Do you want to come say hello to your audience before you go? Come and say, we'd like to thank him on air because he was at home and he was just about to settle in for the evening and we had to call him back in because one of our lovely producer Becky was feeling poorly so it's very kind of him to come in so we'd like to say thank you and it's also thanks to Scott that we got the 1495 black diamonds. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Aloha. I'm a bit tired. You okay? You don't look, oh I'll kill him. I look a bit tired. <laughs> oh for <laughs> Okay. That camera's not for you to check yourself out, love. Mm, it's a bit fluffy at the back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, I would have done my hair for nails on air. Okay. I'm waiting for a kiss. You knew I was. Give her one as well. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, he fell that for us then. Did you see? He fell for us. <laughs> he actually <laughs> fell for us then, didn't he? Bye. Thank you for coming. You smell nice. Do I? Yeah, even though you've been it's all, been a all long day. day you still smell nice. <laughs> he does. So, so this is our sales manager, Scott. He's who we have to thank for the black diamonds at 14 nice back. <laughs> which are. Yeah. Which are. In have you taken them? In Zena's pocket. There's been some real. There's been some accusations thrown at me this evening. Are you taking things again? No. No. <laughs> level of cheek has slightly risen. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I did, I, I did house, borrow a tube of E6000 glue off Helena's desk, so that's only because I can't buy one because there wasn't one in stock. Oh, I've got none, yeah. No, I know, but we need to, we're going to sort that. Far, we need yeah. to sort that. Mm. Um, right then, so um, is it Amber and Sterling Silver Day tomorrow? Mm. Ooh, mm. that's going to be a good mm. day. Amber and Sterling Silver Day. Starting Amber. at 8am tomorrow. Y you're quite right. Yeah, sorry. You've been reading up on the channel. Yeah, I know what time it's yeah, now. Yeah, we do. We start at 8 o'clock in the morning. We've got the lovely Carol tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if the guest is Anna is in the morning. Alison, is it? Maybe? You are so... Oh! Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, they are launching Alison Tarry's Easter Egg DVD with CBs. Oh, yeah. I filmed it with her on Monday night. Yeah, I'm not even sure that's in the warehouse yet, so... That should hopefully be happening tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> 
This is how, you know, it'll be there. It'll be you there. You're saying that we, we are last minute. <laughs> yeah, that is last That's minute. That's the proof. I've got to enable that. That is um, the proof. I better really go Je check, shouldn't I? Jen, <laughs> thank you. Thank you to you for coming in. Thank you, crew. More, m most importantly, thank you to you. Sleep tight. Take care. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. 